Hello, everyone. Welcome to Beam NG Drive. We are back with perhaps some of the silliest kind of racing that we could possibly do. This is the randomized racing. Uh, we are going to, well, it, it's pretty simple. We will have a either a starting car or a uh, selection to choose from, etc. We will press the scramble everything button up here. I'm not going to press it now. Uh, press the scramble everything button and the vehicle we get, we have to drive. It can come up with all sorts of things. For example, here, I have got a covert. I have a cannon on the roof and if your car spawn with cannons, you are allowed to use them. Speed Beast has one as well. Not only do I have a cannon on the roof, I have an engine in the back, I have an engine in the front, I have slicks front and rear, which I really don't want, because I don't want lots of grip and a lot of weight really high up. This is the worst. I've got a twin engine, all-wheel drive, slick tired cover with a lot of weight on the roof. I'm gonna fall over. I'm gonna fall over. Uh, we've got Speed Beast, who has also got a cannon on the roof, with Julie's on the rear. I don't know, it's not a twin-engined one. More sensible front-wheel drive. Shadow has slicked on the front and has got invisible wheels on the back. Don't ask, don't know. Something's really loud. Impeg has bought a tractor or has been given a tractor. Look at that. Brazen's also got quite an impressive contraption. Turns out the Julies are very silly. Uh, Danger Man with a fairly sensible-looking car with a big roof box on it is twin-engined as well by the looks of it. Uh, or maybe it's just rear engine. Oh, no. Danger Man is a mid-engined covert. That's fine. Uh, Rusky has got a rear... Sorry, rear engine. Mid-engined... Are you a twin-engined monster? I've got to slow down the camera bear with for a second. No, you're a mid-engined covert over there. Gliska has a mid-engined covert with a cannon as well. So the cannons are allowed... Oh, no. Gliska has a twin-engined car too. Uh, the cannons are allowed to fire, but you only get one shot with them. And it's a bit difficult to fire them. Uh, and there's also always a danger. Brazen has an awesome looking Mad Max dragster. I do like Brazen's car, actually. Uh, that is a twin engine covert as well. And somehow, and I don't quite know how, Amy has managed to get pretty much a bog standard covert. I, don't, I, can't, I mean, what is, has it got anything interesting engine wise? Uh, no, that's a pretty bog standard covert. There's nothing, there's just nothing untoward. The suspension apparently is a little bit weird. But it's just a sensible car. Just a bog standard cover. Mine has more pops and bangs than a Yobos Fiesta, pretty much. Um, if I boot it, because, well, twin engines are notoriously fiddly. Oh dear. Things have gone expectedly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is the issue, right? <laughs> My car, slick tyres, is a terrible idea. Uh, it's so grippy and so top-heavy. We haven't started racing yet, so I'm allowed to uh, re reset that. Um, yeah, it's so top-heavy. The possibility Ooh. of falling over um, is immense. Right. We're doing a three-lap race. We are doing... Oh, we've got some more changes. Who has not changed there? What, what's not synced yet? Might be Rusky. Not sure. Game might crash while we are doing this. Uh, oh, Amy has painted their car. Oh. Oh, no. Maybe Amy's has now loaded. No, no. It was It was always that. It's just Amy's got a paint job on the car. That's fine. Right. I think we're ready. We are going to get things underway. My goal is to try and not fall over, which is incredibly unlikely. Uh, here we go. The race is about to start. Now, to fire my cannon, I have to press T on the keyboard, which, considering I'm driving on a controller, is going to be difficult. Um, oh, there's already been a kerfuffle! Danger Man has crashed off of Impega, and, oh, Speed Beast's vehicle is all... The Julies are broken on Speed Beast's. Uh, that is far from idea. The frame rate is not going to like what we're doing here. I'm going to point this out. The frame rate is absolutely going to hate what we're doing because we've got... Oh, this is a braking zone and a half. Please stop. I've got no brakes. Uh, it does not... Whoa, Gliska has got some brakes and some good turning there. Uh, I do not stop. Now, do we take the cannon to Gliska? No, wasn't... wasn't quite lined up. I've got to be super careful because heavy cornering will cause me to flip at this moment. Uh, we are a fair way back. See, I could save my cannon for later. Oh, Gliska's got over. Gliska has been beaten by gravity at that point. 
Oh, I'm trying to not be beaten by gravity. My car is not easy to drive here. My brakes are made of cheese, I think. Uh, there is absolutely no stopping power in this car. Now, it is possible that we have got very bad brakes installed on the car. Naturally, it, it is very, very possible that I have just got completely terrible brakes installed. Uh, it would explain much about this, because we are quite fast um, as far as a vehicle goes. We've got quite good acceleration. Uh, oh, no. Oh, went up a gear too soon. I was going to try and fight. Oh, I've, in, my antics of going on to two wheels has caused... I've broken something. Funnily enough, a two-ton covert. The steering pulls. I don't actually... Oh, my front is quite broken. Uh... Oh wow, the cannon overshot. It went too high. I thought I'd fire it at Rusk because I'm not sure I'm going to get my... I'm not sure this car is long for the world anymore. It's quite... It doesn't turn properly anymore. To the, to the right especially. To the left it's not too bad. Speed Beast is, is out, I'm going to guess. Speed Beast is no more. We've got loads of straight line speed. Can we dive bomb a Rusky? Hey! <laughs> it's from a mile back. I'm in the wrong gear. No! Go! Find some traction. Uh, we're gonna get distracted fighting. Oh, I can't turn anymore. Oh, and then we've got up. Oh, I have a feeling my front left may be broken. Oh, Rusky's got lost. It's all fine. No, I don't steer properly. I way. Two tons of covert coming crashing back down to earth is a problem for the front suspension, it seems. We're we gonna dive bomb Rusky again. I think we are. I think we are. We might be too far back for the big dive bomb. I don't think Rusky's actually stopping anyway. Uh, oh, Rusky's had a spin. <laughs> I will take that position back. Thank you very much. Oh, we're up onto two wheels a little bit there. All is fine. Uh, I guess we've got to change up a gear because one of the engines was in the red line. I don't know which engine was in the rev line. I think it might be the front one, but never mind. Uh, my steering is alarmingly broken now. It doesn't really seem to do what it's supposed to. Oh god, it, it just doesn't turn right. It can turn left. No, Rusky. I will not let you overtake me. We will fire it to the inside again. You can visit a tractor. I will make sure you do not get past. <laughs> my, my broken steering makes it less likely for me to roll. No. Covert. Shadow. Oh, Shadow has broken down somehow. Not 100% sure how. Shadow has broken down. Rusky's had a crash. Oh, Rusky might have broken that quite a lot. Uh, we are... I have no idea what position we're in anymore. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. The roof is, as uh, Chas has pointed out, yeah, the roof is actually collapsing a little bit. Funnily enough, the covert not designed to have a cannon on its roof. Uh, you know, oh, Shadow's dying. I think Rusky's broken. Oh, Rusky broke a drive shaft. Gliska has broken down over there. I'm, I am the only cannon car still running, but we are a long way back in fourth, I think, maybe. Um, okay, so Rusky's had broken steering. My steering's been broken for about two laps now. Although the broken steering has actually helped me uh, with not rolling because my steering's so knackered. It means we're just not able to roll the, quite the same. Which is good. It's about it. I'm not sure who has won this race. It's been a good start. Um, it has been a a very good start. Um, uh, I'm going to guess Amy won then. The actual sensible car has taken a victory. I think Brazen's Mad Max Dragster might have ended up in second. Which would be cool. If that has indeed managed that. The fact that oy, a twin-engine cover is even driving, I'm quite pleased about, because honestly, twin-engine cars in this game are normally a nightmare of inconsistency. It looks like we're going to end up oh, in fourth. Honestly, that crash did very little to my car. Um... But there we go. Well, I don't think we're going to see cannons too much anymore. Oh. 
say that. Nope, my oh my card stalled. I thought for a second it died. Nope, it's still fine. Uh, yeah, the, the frame rate was a bit issue. Um, <laughs> oh, and there we go. Well done. Well done, Amy. Well done, Brazen. Well done, Danger Man. Um, I'm amazed this thing made it. I think Shadow's got going again. I don't quite know. Don't quite know what's going on with that. Um, the <laughs> oh, and there we have it. So that is a good place to to start. Um, <laughs> uh, if you are just tuning in, welcome to the madness uh, that is randomised racing. The covert round has been completed, and it was a victory for Amy. Uh, Captain Blackadder, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, just saying, boom, 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 Private Baldrick. Circa 1989. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> Amazing. Um, well, thank you very much. Um, uh, I don't know if Streamlabs is playing up, Drake. I've, nothing has come through on my end, so either Streamlabs is playing up or something else went on. Um, oh, my rear engine. Is still, uh, this is a weird... How this works, I don't know how the mechanics of this work. It's all very bizarre. Um, but... Uh, well, actually, that did surprisingly little. Despite getting shot by a cannon, that was wholly ineffective. What did it hit? The side? Oh, that one just shot over the, the, over the top. So, there we go. Our first race. Um is complete with the coverts. We shall move on. Ah, oh, you know what? <laughs> this could be entertaining. I've not done this. We've not actually done this arena yet. We're going to go for a dirt oval. And not a dirt oval. A dirt figure of eight. Even more absurd in this. Uh, now, I reckon... Uh, oh, God, God, the cannon is so heavy. I reckon for this one, we shall have a go. I'm going to say you can use a classic muscle car. The choice is up to you. Ignore that. That's not actually in the game. Uh, that's on well, my game, essentially. So you can use a blue buck. You can use a Burnside. You can use a Moonhawk. Or you can use a Barstow. What you use is entirely up to you. Now, you might go for a Burnside, hoping there's less terrible things to get. Moonhawk? I mean, I think there is versions of this. Yeah, so you could get these Mad Max cars. But you could just get a normal donk. You could get a donk. So, yeah, I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go Blue Buck. Blue Buck is, I think, the strongest of them all, but you could get low rider suspension, which would be really bad. I don't know what. I, we could get something. You could get something really bad. Mm. I think you're gonna. I think you're gonna get less likely weirdness with the blue buck. However, Ooh. you never really know. Uh, so it doesn't matter how you spawn the car in because it will be different. Now we're sticking with the power to work ratio of about 0 0.2 uh, for this. We have scrambled everything. Ah, uh, I mean it's not the worst thing I've ever seen. Uh, the power to weight ratio is actually about right. However, most of that is where, most of that is nitro, and I do have low rider suspension. Uh, so now we are taking nitro out of the vehicle. Uh, oh, I've got a terrible gearbox. Uh, the reason why we take nitro out is uh, because it doesn't really, it's not really all that useful. I've got a cat rolling around on the floor by my feet. Hello, cat. It's Cass. You've been very attention seeking -y, seek seeking today. Um, so, because we're trying to get the vehicles to... Uh, does it have a radiator fitted? Uh, it has a radiator, so that's fine. Because we're trying to keep the car's performance kind of close. Uh, uh, no, I don't actually... No, don't do that. Uh, can I actually get... Okay, so I can't use this standard engine. Because it won't get me to the power. So the reason we have this is just a way to make sure the vehicles are vaguely balanced. Um, actually, they're empty for now. There we go. That's a little bit more like it. So it it takes away a little bit of the random. Yes, I know. However, this makes it just more entertaining for us. Uh, and makes the racing a little bit better, in theory. 
Uh, stage 1 supercharger, will you get me to 0 0.2? Oh! Bang on the numbers, look at that. So then we press sync for everyone. And then we all go. Uh, <laughs> CG say this is about as bad as you can get. It won't be the worst car here, trust me. There are going to be worse cars here. Um, ah. uh, Ethan, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, testing, testing, one, two, three. Also, possibly a numer numeric palindrome, depending on if Drake's donation <laughs> turns up first. Well, I think yours did work, and then you immediately got uh, displaced. Uh, <laughs> Joshua, thank you very much for the donation. Saying, can we have a round in heavyweight vehicles? We absolutely can. Um, oh, come on. Game, please don't break. It's just loading in a lot of changes all at once. Here we go. Oh dear. <laughs> you can see, it could always be worse. It could always be worse. Shadow, I said classic muscle cars. So I want to shout at Shadow. Uh, it's supposed to be classic, not not modern muscle cars. What the absolute crap is Danger Man? <laughs> what is going on? Danger Man's car is awful. <laughs> oh. Danger Man's car is astonishingly bad. Impega has the twin engine hot rod. That thing has got um, way too, probably got way too much power. I don't quite know uh, how that's going to. I, the power thing may end up getting a little bit messed up. We'll see how it goes, really. Um, I, I, there's probably got. Oh, 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 there we go. Uh, uh, things are happening. I, th I think Danger Man's car collapsed, so they may have re redone it. Um, the only downside with this is much far. Okay, Rusky has like an armored. That's quite cool, Ooh. actually, and that is that is immensely fearsome. That Moonhawk, quite a heavily armored Moonhawk. Uh, Brazen is missing most of the front end on that one. Um, Danger Man is missing everything on that. That is basically... I don't even know what that started out life as. I have no idea. Uh, so, what rear tyres do I have is the question. Okay, we have some sort of tread on our rear tyres. That's good. Uh, I will take that. I will take that. Uh, yeah, a lot of cars are struggling to get down because cars have two engines. <laughs> the twin mill cars can't really get the power down to a reasonable level. They have about 800 horsepower, I think, in the, in the basic spec. I even have more than that, about 1,200. Um, they may have issues right there. Uh, they're very cool, but may have to re-roll those ones, because you can't get the power down. Um, I don't think. Pretty sure you can't, sadly. Uh, Chris, thank you for the donation. So it's a common misconception that Volvo invented the seatbelt, but in reality it was American manufacturer Nash who came up with it in 1949. Saab jumped on the train and made them stand in 1955. Uh, Volvo created how they are today, the three-piece seatbelt. Ah, oh, well, there we go. Um, I did not know that. I did not know that. So, some interesting Chris knowledge for you, right there. Uh, <laughs> Drake, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Say, well, tonight's fail race stream. We get drivers in minimally equipped pigeons. Uh, we get Lado in a T-Series with no cap. I don't think Lado's here today, unfortunately. Um, and Alex gets a Vertex with Joe's jet engine. I hope not. Christ. Um, the <laughs> PS woof 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 says Drake the Spy Dog. Uh, that's from Crusader Kings, where we did have Drake the Spy Dog. And uh, I had to send a second action. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Streamlabs. If it was being a little bit funky or whatnot, it could be. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it's weird and dumb. Uh, CJ, thank you So it would be interesting to see what concoctions the three wheelers come up with. We can have a go with that at some point. Uh, right. We are getting there with vehicles. We are... Amy is a chassis. So, Amy and Danger Man are chassis with different engines. Oh, Amy has a steering column, at least. That's something. Um, Impega has got all, all slicks. Danger Man, I feel, is quite... Um, quite good in terms of tyres, really, on that one. That's That's got quite a decent sort of grip. We have got low rider suspension, which is bad. 
We have six at the front, which isn't great because we're on dirt. Um, yeah, God knows. Uh, Speed Beast has got quite a strong looking car. So that's going to be something to watch out for. Gliska's a little bit more like mine. Uh, Rusky's also looks like it belongs in Wreckfest, which is probably what you want here. Um, brazen. Yeah. So Amy and Danger Man are going to have to be really careful because contact is just going to destroy those cars in theory. They are Grand Marshals, we think. Uh, but... They're strong, but without any... Body, any work, any body work, any protection. Those wheels are going to be super vulnerable potentially, or might have respawned. Uh, might have redrew if they weren't working somehow. Because um, some, some, sometimes the vehicles just don't want to work, so you may have to have re redrawn to try and get it to work. Uh, Danger Man with a bit better option, the Barstow. With is the wing on backwards, or is that how it's supposed to sit? Um, I am not sure. It's a little bit of faff with this. Um, there is there, there is a smidge bit of faffing around to try and get this to work. Uh, do I have a terrible automatic gearbox? Oh, I had a two-speed, didn't I? I mean, a two-speed's probably not great. Although it might, it might actually kind of work in a weird sort of a way. It may, may be one of the gear... Because we're not. it's not like we're on a racetrack and going to be needing constant gear change. We're not like a conventional racetrack. So we may actually just find a gear that works and stick it at the whole time. Oh... I mean, I don't have much front-end grip on here because, well, it's dirt and everything. Can I go flat across the jump? Oh! oh! Hey, Brayson! <laughs> oh! Oh, no! Oh, the secondary hit to add insult to injury. The, f the Well, the entertaining thing is, it's actually not really made my car any worse than it was to drive. I mean, it's not healthy, but... It, it still works. How the hell is that as okay as it is? The blue buck is strong. The blue buck is mighty. Um, <laughs> so it's got quite warm in all of this. So we are going to be... Do I've got a tiny radiator. I'm going to be real trouble by the end of this. Um, uh, we are going to be doing an eight lap race around here. Eight laps of a figure of eight circuit. Uh, Petrolhead, thank you very much for the super chat. So McLaren will be celebrating its 60-year anniversary at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. And we'll be doing a special F1 livery at Silverstone in Hungary. Oh, that's cool. Um, that is very cool indeed. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to Festival of Speed this year. Uh, it's going to be the first year in a while. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be there next year. Um, but yeah, that is cool. I will. Well, the, the, the special uh, liveries never have much luck. Well, outside of the Red Bull, but we shall see. Although McLaren was quite good today. Or at least Norris was quite good today. So there's hope. There's hope, maybe. Uh, Mitch, thank you very much for the donation. Saying thank you all uh, for all the entertainment you provide. Helps me through a lot. Ah, oh, well, I'm, I am very glad to hear. Uh, I'm glad you are enjoying the videos and the streams. Hopefully you will enjoy this evening's level of nonsense. It's going to be quite a high level of nonsense, I think, uh, here. We've... We proved the sheer strength of this blue buck. We know it can um, take a beating around this circuit. Whether that's going to be enough to survive till the end of the race, I don't know. We will have to wait and see on this. I do worry Shadow's got quite a lot of armor. Rusky's got a lot of armor. So does Speed Beast. Um, Danger Man has the backwards wing, which is quite funny. Everybody is ready. Okay, an eight-lap race is about to get underway. Here we go. I am concerned. I'm concerned for my engine overheating, to be honest. Uh, there's a lot of silly cars going on here. We will get the race count. Now, Rusky honestly might have the right idea at the back. We will have to wait and see how this all pans out. We are off and underway. It's actually a decent start. For the blue buck, Gliskers will pat. Oh, for God's sake! Of course, in testing, didn't break a thing. Farting around on the jump in the race is immediately broken. Now, eight laps isn't long, so we might be okay to go till the end. But uh, <laughs> God damn it, really, game? <laughs> of course, of course. When I send it and chuck it around in uh, testing, it has no problems whatsoever. In as soon as we get going, oh dear. Uh, Amy almost fired us off the course 
And for that, we will... Oh, I wanted to get it, I wanted to get it sliding through the... It's rare that I say this, but I actually do want my car to slide through these corners. That is how I think we are going to make that time. Car, stay in... You know what? I'm going to try something with this auto box, and it may work, it may not. Uh, I'm trying to stick it in first and just leave it in first. The engine's going to blow up if I do that. I fear Danger Man is in trouble! Glisk has met it in Pega. Glisk has met it in Pega, and that has certainly done some damage right there. We will slide around behind, but our engine is going to go pop if we are not careful. Amy's had a big mistake up there. Don't come back across in front of us. Jeez, oh, head gasket's going. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh no, oh no, yeah, the engine's gone pop already. Man, well, that, that was fun, briefly. Oh, Gliska and Impega actually cleared the fence over there. Oh, Danger Man has disconnected. Um, oh no, the others are catching. I mean, if I break down, can we at least break down on the crossover point? Because it would be funny. If the engine's going to dump and die. Please dump and die in the middle of the track so we are at least an annoying obstacle. Oh dear. It's definitely... Oh no, no, no. It's still going. Still going. I think there may have been a crash behind, but we are still... <laughs> we are still going. I know the engine's starved of oil. I know the engine's really unhappy. Oh. That's fine. It's, it's, it's just... Come on. Come on. Keep going. Speed Beast is in trouble. Uh, might be broken down in the middle. No idea what lap number we're on. I don't think we're going to make it to the end, but we're making it further than I thought we were going to. If I had a good radiator, I might be okay at this point. Um, like, because this car had such a crap radiator, it just overheated immediately on its own, which really doesn't help. Uh, I know it's not going to necessarily help with the oil pan, but still. Uh, come on, Blue Buck. Keep that engine alive. You can do it. You can, you can maybe do it. There's more cars out. There are more cars. Oh! There were more cars out. I might be one of them now. I was looking at the pile of broken bits on the outside and we got hit. It's not really hindered us any more than we were already hindered, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> Brazen's broken down, so we're going to beat Brazen. Not many cars are still circulating at the moment. Uh, Shadow's trying to get over the wall and has failed and is now perfectly balanced on the wall, it would seem. Come on, Blue Buck. How on earth is this dying engine still going? <laughs> the, the problem is, I think there's another lap to go after this. Uh, come on. You've just got what you, you've held on immensely well for so long. I'm trying to use as little steering as possible through here. I'm desperately trying. I cannot. Okay, oh God, Rusky's not going through here. Um, there's cars behind. I don't know what lap, who's on where. Uh, oh, come on. I just want to see the Amy has parked up and finished. I think Amy has finished. Amy's stopped, which makes me suspect that is the end. Oh, the blue buck might actually do this. Now, if the engine cuts out now, we might even be able to coast it across the line. Come on! <laughs> it's going to be an astonishing... Astonishing second place. How are you a live car? How are you still? I'm just curious to see if it can keep going at this point. How is this still going? Your engine has been on its... I have achieved second place. I'm just doing another lap because some... If I stop, my engine it ceases and we never move again. But how is this engine still going? <laughs> it's remarkable. It is absolutely incredible. It's not really got any slower than it was. Um, that is, I'm actually really, really impressed. I'm really impressed with this. Well done. Oh, I went to try to steal one of Amy's wheels. And yeah, the second I stopped it, it locks up. Um, but that's, that's an unexpected second place. That is a seriously unexpected second place. We got hit on the crossover. We blew the engine to pieces on about lap two. And somehow, uh Somehow we made it. I'm really impressed with the Blue Bucks engine for holding on in that one. I think, unfortunately, a few cars got fired over that wall there and they had trouble getting back uh, onto the arena. We lost a few 
Um, lost a few vehicles to that gap. Uh, I don't quite know why there's a gap there. I felt like there should maybe be a wall there. But there we have it. Uh, we, we could probably have got another lap. It's only because I stopped that the engine seized uh, pretty much. But uh, yeah, Amy, with another convincing victory, we will end up second. Uh, we are going to... In fact, what was the next round? I believe... Ah, it's going to be a heavyweight round. So, heavyweight round feels like we should head to... What sort of circuit should we go to? We have a few to play around. Where is the track that I wanted? I think... Uh, God, I'm trying to remember. So this map has a whole host of tracks. It's why we use this venue a lot, uh, just because we've got you've got so many circuits to choose from. Lots of great tracks as well. Uh, where is the? Um, where, yeah, cause I don't want to use a go kart track yet. I'm sure we will at some point. Well, we definitely will at some point. There's a long, thin circuit that is good fun. This one here. Yes. So we used this one a little while ago. This is a fun little layout. Uh, so we will teleport our way over here. So, heavyweights for this next one. You have got options of... Well, we might put the power down as well, actually, uh, for this one. We might just go 0. Point, actually, I should go 0. 0.1 just because of the vehicles that we're driving. Uh, so your options are T-Series. Your options are... I'm going to allow the van in this. You can have the van and you can have the bus. Those are your three options. Van, T-Series, and bus. Wherever the hell the bus is, I'm apparently blind. There it is. Um, so those are your three options. Now, you could get the, you could go for the bus. You might get Jato's. If you get Jato's, they're allowed to be used until they well, run out of being used. Uh, the T-Series... I'm actually tempted to go for the T-Series. It's quite strong. Uh, and we... Although, we might get really heavy trucks... Uh, because we have got the Mad Max parts. Could get really, really heavy trucks that are really bad. Um, the van, I mean, the van's going to have some wacky parts as well, I should think. <laughs> that would be quite fun. Oh. Hmm. I, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to go van. I, I do fear we might fall over a lot, but I'm going to go van this time. There's going to be a selection of stuff here, so don't worry. Those that want to see crazy vehicles, there will be plenty of them in this. Uh, we ha Oh, no. Oh, no. Why have you got me on donk wheels? I've got donk rear wheels, slicks at the front. A lot of weight in the back. Uh, we've got to get a little bit more power into it. Uh, six litre diesel. Awesome. Uh, so, 0 0.1 is what we were looking for. This is very heavy. Uh, Christ, this is very heavy. Uh, four and a half tonnes. Okay. Oh, no. We, we don't want NOS. No NOS, just because it, it doesn't really... It's a bit useless in judging the uh, performance. Uh, right, let's go and get he ultra heavy duty because I want to crank up the turbo. Stage three, variable boost turbo, which will mean all of the boost is about to happen. Uh, can I... No, no, that's just a sports one. Can I get a racing... Nope. Uh, it's fine. My plan is simple. Where is the boot turbo boost? I want 60 PSI. 61 PSI of boost. How much boost does that give us? How much power does that give us? Oh, okay. A little bit too much. Let's just, let's just t tune it back a smidge. We've got to find that, uh, that perfect amount. 0 0.104. That's fine. That would round down. That is allowed. Um... Yeah, we've got big brakes at the we've got big brakes at the front, tidy brakes at the rear. That's okay. That's sensible. The game's done it relatively reasonable. Here, uh, we will load in everyone's vehicles. It's going to take it a little while. Uh, <laughs> so, four thousand six hundred kilos for me. We've got four hundred and seventy horsepower. We've got mismatched tires. We've got a bit of off-roady 
suspension at the front, I think. It seems to be lifted up a bit there, which is certainly something. Let's see what others are driving. My, my fear is, well, there's a few... <laughs> There's a few buses that are just spawned in with plows. Apparently the buses don't like spawning in with a body. Um, wow, my vehicle is all turbo. Oh god, what's my gearbox like? Why does it also pull so badly to the left? Right, I am very, 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 very alarmed about the uh, buses with the ramp plow. We have a little bit of a bull bar on the front, but it's not much. Rusky has a frame. Amy has a ramp truck. <laughs> I mean, if the opportunity... Oh, Amy has a ramp truck, but doesn't have a cab. Yes, I do believe that is how it works. That is definitely the best way to uh, construct your vehicle. Right there. Uh... <laughs> Uh, I mean, if it, honestly, if the box falls out the back of my vehicle, I'm happy. If the, if the planks could fall out of here, I'd be very happy, because that would save me a huge amount of weight. Uh, oh, Shadow's got quite a good, sensible-looking thing. Speed Beast is not sensible <laughs> at all. Gliska's just got, like, the cable company has turned up. Uh, it, that's, that's just far too re realistic. Um, so, Speed Beasts is fantastically wacky. Um... The frame, the, oh, Rusky. the frame rate is surprisingly high, mate, but I don't, don't think it's going to hold. I have a feeling these... Actually, because, of course, the buses are all missing their bodywork, so they might actually have better frame rate than expected. Because um, there's less bodywork to cause issues. Um, uh, I am... Um, okay, expectation time. Let's, let's look at expectation times. I think... If Rusky's doesn't break... That could be quite good. If Gliska... Oh, Gliska is, is not quite synced yet, I don't think. So maybe Gliska is wackier than that, and we just hasn't hasn't updated yet. Uh, oh, there we go. There's Gliska's. That's more like it. Actually, still quite sensible. Also carrying a stack of wood. We've got the Gliska team van. That has turned up. Uh, Julie's at the back, and the world's smallest wheels at the front. That's what we like to see. Uh, <laughs> Shadow's truck. I mean... Shadows is quite sensible here. It looks like it might be a handful, and at the end of the day, it's a truck. Um, but yeah, that could be quite fast. Um, the buses are going to be wacky. I don't even know what the... Um, I don't know what the buses are going to do. I don't know what the physics is going to do with them. So... We will see. Speed Beast's got the full-on gasser suspension going on. I thought mine was a bit iffy, but... Yeah. Uh, now, we will continue... We will continue the rules that we had before when we've driven this circuit. So it's going to be a three-lap race. You are allowed to take the jumps. Now, the jumps are technically shortcuts. You're allowed to take them if you want. However, you run the risk of breaking your car. Uh, at the end of the day, you, you run this huge risk. Also, down this section, you must go to the left and go down the hill uh, and up this way. You are not allowed to take the other route. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you can take the jumps at your own peril. It is your choice. Uh, I am not sure many of these vehicles are going to enjoy that. Um, we will see. I mean, we might... Well, we're not really all ready. Shadow's facing the wrong way. And I've got to do some sinking. Uh... <laughs> Uh Right. Okay. Shall we get... We need to get everybody over here. We need to get Shadow on a start line somewhere. I think Rusky's going for a cheat and is going to be carried around for a bit. Uh, I'm hoping the ton of wood falls out the back of my vehicle. That would be very helpful for my performance. Um, is somebody going to shout at Gliska to get back over here? Um... Well, we're going to do a countdown. Oh, oh, I've got another bloody reset. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, we're just going to do a countdown. This can reset and join the grid uh, with this one. 
Here we go. We are off. Oh, bloody vehicles and their need for my just breaks its steering immediately which is a very serious concern i'm gonna run out of gears i think quite quickly in all of this uh oh okay amy's not made the corner so amy is taking the jump my handling is questionable <laughs> oh there's been a really big accident up ahead i've had an issue my engine stalled my suspension's given up ah oh, no <laughs> <laughs> it's gone wrong. More things have gone wrong. Uh, can we tip over? We can. Uh, oh, my poor suspension. The logs are free. Oh, no. I don't handle very well anymore. The, the, the logs are kind of free. Shadow leads from Amy. Speed Beast is in third ahead of Rusky. Oh, if I turn into a corner, my vehicle wants to... I've got another falling over car. Oh, uh, we've had a falling over issue. And I'm in the middle of the track as well. Oh. Okay, so not only do we have... Well... No, I, I bet I cannot take corners and apparently no one's listened to the rules of where we've got to go. So I guess we're going this way as well then. Uh, I, I think our vehicle might be as useless as Brazen's at this point. Danger Man, the buses are not working very well. Danger Man is almost going for a swim at this point. I'm half tempted to try and help. Never mind, I've fallen over again. <laughs> this, is, this is worse. This is worse than the covert with a cannon on the roof on it. It's not helped that it's broken. Um... Oh, for God's sake. It's really unhelpful that it's broken. Oh, that's the wrong gear. Let's turn on. Right. Terrible. <laughs> Terrible busted truck. We can take the we can take the jump. Why at this point, why not? It's completely undrivable, really. Oh, can we can we attack Brazen? That's the real reason to take the jump! No, oh, no. Uh oh. Oh, oh, we found. I think Gliska may have, may have shed there. <laughs> oh no, I've lost steering. I think. Ah oh, no, we're broken. Ah. Oh. Well, that's that's kind of that really. I guess we. Oh dear, we're just going to be broken down in a really awkward place. For everyone to try and deal with. Oh, Amy's lost the steering. Amy's out. We're very much out. We busted the steering. That was one of the worst things I've ever driven. Uh, Shadow is... Oh, not going to come around and collect us. You going to give us a bump? No. Damn it. Shadow was sensible. How disappointing. We can roll ourselves back onto the racing line, I think. That seems like a reasonable idea. <laughs> oh. Danger Man is, has got free. Danger Man has got free of the lake. Speed Beast! Oh. Uh, has a Danger Man. Oh! God. <laughs> <That's>, what? <laughs> I think there's some desync in that, but still. That's quite funny. Gliska's got the doors open and was smoking like crazy through there. Uh, in Pega, didn't the buses haven't really worked, have they? Oh, Brazen's met a lamppost. There's some desync going on as well. Um, that's the remnants of Amy's truck back there. Uh, Shadow has got tangled up with Brazen. We're now trying to sabotage Shadow at this point. Rusky's chassis is still going. I said that was probably going to be quite good. Rusky's actually trying to catch up to Shadow now. This is the battle for the lead of the race. Rusky has got a pretty damn good shout here. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know what that is. Uh, underneath all, what is just a chassis. Um, oh. Uh, Rusky's going to make the corner. Uh, ah, there, Shadow is... Oh, take it all right. Rusky's taken a... Uh, well, dubious track limits, uh, shall we say. Speed Beast is being chased down by Gliska. As we head through the next corner, there is the stricken Amy who lost steering. So, I think this is the final lap of the race for these two. Shadow's got some good straight line speed. Don't break your vehicle doing that. You are asking for trouble. Oh. Shadow did make it work through there. 
Rusky is going to go for the jump here. Will my van play a part? No, not really, although it made it awkward for Rusky at the end of all of that. Uh, Shadow is into the final section. Oh, Rusky may have bent steering. Uh, well, Rusky's in the pits. It's not really going to help matters through there. <laughs> Rusky has found an pit stop, uh, but it is not going to matter because it is going to be Shadow who is heading around the final corner, and it will be, I believe, a Shadow with a very big slide. A Shadow that is going to claim a victory in this one. Nicely done, Shadow. We did think that truck might be good, and it is across the line for a victory. Rusky may be in trouble from Speed Beast here. If Speed Beast can get that turned... Uh, oh, Rusky's a lap down. Okay, never mind then. So it'll be Speed Beast that is in second on this one. Didn't realise Rusky ended up a lap down. Okay, so it'll be Gliska on the podium with no steering. Gliska, that's not the corner. <laughs> well, it works, I guess. <laughs> it's one way to do it. Uh... Oh dear. The vans are second and third, but the truck is going to win. The buses were useless. Mine was absolutely useless in that. Impega and Brazen are doing things in a bush. Let's not question too much. Um, and Danger Man may have reset at some point. Uh, <laughs> we're not going to ask too much. Oh, that's... Uh, that's taken quite a hit somewhere along the line on that one but uh there we go well that was definitely a round that was definitely a round a round that did not go best for me it is safe to say oh, this poor absolutely garbage van that we ended up with oh here comes the bus honestly the fastest it's moved for a while uh <laughs> <laughs> and it has kind of crippled the bus. <laughs> the bus's chassis, chassis is very... Uh, questionable, I think, is the best way to sum it up. But there we go. Right, we will move on. We shall move on, because the next round is going to be, for CJ, it is going to be three wheelers. Three wheelers. Oh, good God. Uh, okay, let's head to this very technical little circuit over here. Uh, we've used this one before. This one here is quite good for these. It's going to be a bit of a uh, silly race is what... Oh, wow, that wheel is not at an angle a wheel should be at. But yes, we will go for uh, three-wheeled vehicles on this one. So it's going to be widgeon or pigeon. Uh, Caleb, thank you for the donation, by the way. Uh, saying, despite it not being an official option, a few dealers sold Ford Torino Squire wagons with the 429 Cobra Jet V8, with six sold in 1971. It's one of the it's one of only a few factory muscle estates. Uh, also requesting a round in sports slash supercars, please. We can absolutely do that. Um, I want one of those. That sounds amazing. A 429... That would be amazing. I want it. <laughs> I want it a lot. Uh, I'm going to guess. Oh, there's a possibility that Pigeon may become not a three-wheeler. Well, let's try it and see what happens. Um, <laughs> God knows what's going to happen here. Uh, but yeah, sports and supercars, we can absolutely we can absolutely do that one. Uh, oh, also, Petrolhead, thank you for the super chat, was also asking, uh, can we round of supercars? Okay, go as crazy as you want um, with them. Uh, Andrew, thank you for donation, saying for Eve's, Eve's bed soon, soon. For Eve's, for Eve's a bed. Uh, soon she will have the biggest bed and need a new room for it. Oh, knowing Eve, yes. Knowing Eve, she will. Although, the thing is, you can buy Eve a new bed and then she will sleep in a box. And then she will push Apollo off the bed. And she's just a bit mean sometimes. Uh, what the hell is that? And how is that a pigeon? Could somebody... I have a lot of questions. I just want to see if this can drive. How is this in any way, shape, or form a pigeon? How is that? You've literally just got wobbly wheels on a drive shaft. That's not a pigeon. Try again. <laughs> what? 
what is this? <laughs> That's my favorite thing ever. But how have you spawned this? What have you done? I mean, this doesn't drive. I can't use it. So you'll have to get rid of <laughs> Why do you exist? <laughs> how did the game think that was a complete vehicle? <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> Uh, oh, power to wait. We're going to go to 0.2 again. Um, that's astonishingly bad. That's astonishingly bad. Stop spawning me in a floppy chassis. <laughs> uh, I, 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 oh, what? This is, it's got worse. How have you got worse? Now you've, oh, no, no, where's the rest of it? You've spawned it all under the ground. What the? I'm not sure this is going to work. I think we've broken something. Oh dear. <laughs> oh no, things are weird. I mean... Does this even have steer- Okay, so now it's spawned me in a pigeon with no steering. There's no front- It's got stabilizers, but no front wheel. Which- I think... I think we might have to swap to a widgeon at this point. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, right, widgeon, come here. I mean, I guess there's a chart. I'm, I'm not sure this is really working. Uh, I'm not. I'm not sure this is quite working, but we will try. CJ, thank you for the donation. Uh, just, just say well worth a pound. Um, oh, I've got Julie's on my widgeon. I don't know if that counts as three wheels now or five or uh, quite what counts and what doesn't at this stage. We're also a million miles over the power to weight ratio. I'll we'll get rid of the nitro and that'll sort it. Uh, <sighs> okay. Let's just do this. I'll see what we've got. We'll see if we've got enough vehicles to have this vaguely work. It's... I'm not sold on it vaguely working. But we will try. At least. Okay. Ah. Oh, there does seem to be... Uh, there just seems to be some widgets. Unfo oh, someone's got a pigeon with square wheels. I love it. Brazen's is glorious. Uh, right. I have got to take out the nitro. First of all. Uh, that puts down to 0 0.2, which is good, which, which is better, but can I, uh, individual thrust, nope, can't make that any worse, can't make that, uh, maybe heavy duty, sometimes that dumps the power down, uh, not enough, now, I'm not allowed to change stuff to make it heavier, for example, uh, ah, well, I have got a, I have got a bat. uh, can I make the sandbag heavier? Some bits you can, but I can't do that. Oh, that's frustrating. So I guess we're going to have to go down to the 550cc engine, uh, which is going to put us a, a way lower, but we should be able to... Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, it's just going to be garbage. Well, the, the options are really bad on this. Options are really bad. There's not really any sport dual exhaust. I doubt it's going to give me much power. Um, oh, that's given us a bit more power. 0 0.1. <laughs> uh, I can't. I'm not allowed to add another sandbag, though. That's the whole point of this. Oh. Right. So Amy has got. I mean, Brazen's got a worse time than me, basically. Uh, let's. Oh, God. Let's have a look around what have we got here. And Peg has got surprisingly good amount of power going on. Rust, so none of the widgeons, well, or they're going to have way too much. Um, although this doesn't always... Oh, Shadow, that's... Uh, that looks very horrible to drive. I don't think Shadow could actually get the power down close enough. Uh, <laughs> look at the brazens go. Uh, I guess you could... Actually, what you could do is you could go the 1.3 and then because it did have you can put the adjustable ECU and then I guess you could just adjust it down to the point like just rev limit it 
to reduce power. It'll be annoying, but... Can we just cut the, the revs all the way down? Yeah, okay, we can actually do that. He's gonna, he's gonna rev like a diesel. <laughs> hey, I did it! 0 0.2, bang on. Bang on 0 0.2. Uh, we're basically just going to be fifth the entire time, but that's okay. I feel like we're good. We've actually... Oi! Okay, I feel... I take that sentence back. Uh, we have one brake light. We have one reverse light. Uh, we have one mirror. We do have both headlights. That's something. That's good. Uh, <laughs> this is a very silly round. Whoever suggested this... Uh, <laughs> This it might be the maddest round we've had yet. Uh, right. Poor Brazen with the square wheels. I don't think my handbrakes works. My handbrake works either. We're just rolling back slightly. Um, oh, CJ that suggested this one. I hope this is everything you wanted because it is very silly. Uh, it is It is very silly indeed. Uh, Shady Ferret Gaming, thank you for the uh, Saying, uh, bad X race. Remove brakes in the asphalt figure of eight. Uh, well, I mean, we're not. We, we can do an asphalt figure of eight race. We're not really. We're trying to not. We, we're having the game build the cars around. Right. Why do I have a handbrake? Well, um, sorry, Impega. Bump. <laughs> we're going to lose. Use you to stop us because I've got no handbrake going on. Uh, Speed Beast has the biggest drag tires I've ever seen. That does not look stable or working. I'm going to reset um, uh, a little bit. Uh, here. Uh, oh. Okay. We are going... We're going to go for a five-lap race, because this is quite a short circuit. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go for five laps around here with... Um, this lot. Gliska's got a flappy bit in the back of their car. Brazen's car is going to shred itself to pieces. Amy's looks kind of sensible again. No interior. Mine's half sensible. Uh, Impega's is vaguely sensible looking. A bit rusty. Uh, <laughs> Rusky's is, is, is all right. Speed Beast's is insane. Um, and Danger Man's is just, is, is just a pigeon. It might not be updated, uh, to be honest. All uh, right. We are going to get everybody ready. We are going to start a race. Five laps around here to see what might happen. Look at Brazen's hop and jump. And Brazen's immediately caused mayhem. Impega, get out of my boot. Impega. No. Oh, it's gone wrong. Oh, Impega has no gravity clear. Uh, oh, I was I had the camera looking the wrong way. It's been absolute chaos at the start. Pretty much. As, whee, as you would expect, we are to the inside and we do get past. My Julies are not actually very good. Basically, what the Julies do is cause me to spin randomly. I don't quite know why. Oh, and no, I think I do know why, actually, because all of my power wants to kick in at the very top of the rev range, which I'm not actually in for very long because of my... Oh, no, maybe it's not that. Oh, the rear... Oh, I might have really rear-biased brakes. No, I, well, I might have rear-biased brakes, but I also have lots of oversteer problems. Ugh. The stability is exactly zero on this. Uh, <laughs> there's, there's just none. There is no stability in the cornering. It does lock the rears as well, which is very dangerous. We're not the worst vehicle here, and that is saying something. Uh, the, the Hope L Danger Man has fallen over, and Speed Beast uh, is... Well, overtaking, but it did not look like it was easy in that. So we've gone from cars that fall over a lot to a car that literally just spins on a whim for reasons I don't fully understand. Maybe high gears are going to be the way to go for victory here. High gears and careful driving. I mean, a victory... No. Victory is a long shot. Oh, come on. Come on, Widgeon. It is borderline impossible to drive this vehicle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Pega with a dive bomb and a half from a million miles back. Uh, oh, Amy did not quite block. 
successfully there. Uh, oh, we locked the brakes, but we managed to slide it into the corner and made it work through there. Gliska's had trouble with their vehicle. Brazen is still going somehow with the square wheels, which I don't quite know how, but well done. Brazen for making it work this far. And <laughs> now it's Brazen's turn. It's nice to see somebody else spin that isn't me after everything that's gone on. I think Danger Man's got the lead of the race back, which is... I mean, there's a battle and a half going on up there that I would like to have been a part of, but I think my vehicle is just too terrible. My one door is smashed. Rusky's going backwards and doesn't look like they have much steering left anymore. Uh, it's close up at the front. Uh... <laughs> It's very close up at the front. Amy's has taken some damage. I'm not quite sure what's happened to it. It doesn't look that bad compared to some other vehicles, but apparently it's better in reverse. Uh, whoever had a bin, that's long gone. I think that was in Pegas, but I'm not sure. Uh, we are going to kind of coast it through here. Uh, that's fine. And then we will go chasing off after a, a shadow. Nope, everything's locked. How do I unlock you? <laughs> I wasn't on the brakes and it was just locking. It's The whole thing was gone. And I don't quite know how to unlock it at that point. Uh, that is a scary thing to have happen. Uh, we are... I mean, we're looking at a podium if Impega can't overtake us between now and the end. Which ooh, is going to rely on us having a Danger Man 1. Oh, this might be the final corner. If it is, then... Fantastic. Oh, we got to make it. We are across the line in third with a terrible driving car. Uh, <laughs> I don't quite know why. I don't quite... Why is, is a good... Why it locks up so badly is anyone's guess in that one. Oh, I was going to try and help him peg her over. Yeah, why that's locking up so horrifically, I am not sure. Maybe it's to do with the Julies. Maybe that makes it worse. Maybe it's got like race brakes at the back, or maybe it's got all the pressure. I can actually have a look. Um, while, hold on. I can have a look. No, brake force multiplier is fairly normal. Did it have brake pressure? I mean, tire pressures are wacky, but that's to be expected with this. No, it didn't seem to have like lots of rear bias in the braking. Uh, Amy is going. Backwards still. Danger Man gets their first victory in the Pigeon, of course. Brazen's square-wheeled vehicle is somehow not shaking itself to death, which is quite impressive. It has had a crash with Shadow. And now there's a little bit of crash welding. Oh, a little bit of lag. Uh, go on, Brazen. You can make the square wheels work. I think you're a way, a way back. We've just got another lap to go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Rusky's got no steering. Gliska's vehicle is a spinny mess. Uh, what has happened to that car? I think suspension might have collapsed on that. Uh, so, well, the pigeons were definitely an event. Well, the three wheelers. Mine technically ended up with slightly more. I don't know whether you count Julie's, but... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Gliska, I think, has made it across the line. Either that or it's expired, one or the other, at this point. Uh, Ruskies is definitely out. I think we're waiting to see if Square Wheeled Machine can make it um, in all of this. Uh, Amy has gone for the backward strategy against the Square Wheels. Uh, <laughs> I think Backwards Pigeon is going to beat Square Wheeled Pigeon, by the looks of it. Uh well, I hope this is everything you are wanting it to be at this stage. As the square wheels is across the line. Well done. Uh, <laughs> bloody hell. What a manic event. And I'm being pushed down the road. Uh, <laughs> oh, we'll pretend Amy did another lap. That's fine. Okay. Well, that was good fun. Uh, we will move on next to a, a sports or supercars. Sports or supercars? You know what? We're going to go to Hockenheim. It's not Jankenheim, but I bet... What's the betting Amy went to clear the... Uh, went to do a, a, a thingy and clicked exit by accident. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go to Hockenheim. We're going to head all the way over. We're going to go on the full circuit for this one. Ah, oh, Amy's got to go. Ah, fair enough. Uh, thank you for setting up the server and all of that one. Um, so, for this... You are go we're going to use sports 
and supercars. Now you get a good option with this. You get some. You get some good options. Um, you know. Okay, Bolide, Scintilla, both available. K-Series available. Uh, you've got 200BX, Sunburst, and SBR4 available. Uh, you can get... So I'm not going to allow, like, the sporty... I'm not going to allow the Covert or the I-Series or the 800-Series or the Bastion. While there are sporty versions, they are not intrinsically a sports car. So while there are fast versions of them, they are not a sports car. So I'm not going to allow them in this. Uh, what do I want? Okay, SBR4, you can't really get a bad... SBR4, you can't get too bad, although you could have mismatch... You, it can't be as bad as some. The Bolide, I mean, you could get the ramp car, which is cool, but... Okay, Bolide's going to be really difficult, to, or could be really difficult to drive. Don't really want that. I think the K-Series could be a good shout. Okay, Series is a sensible shout. I mean, the ridiculous shout is the 200BX. Sunburst has also got a lot of parts for it. Uh, and you cannot go wrong with a Sunburst. I'm thinking... I'm thinking we might go this. Uh, I think this is going to be a fun option. Of course, it's not going to be like this by the time we're finished scrambling it. So let's see what it does. Petrolhead, thank you for the super chat. Uh, saying some of the cars I saw at the recent show was a Renault Spider, a Lotus Esprit Sport, uh, 350, and a Ford F-150 Harley Davidson, among others. Ah, oh, I do like the Renault Spider. That is a very cool, a very cool vehicle. You cannot go wrong with uh, with those. Um, yes, it is a 0.2 power to weight ratio for Rusty. I'll just put in the chat as well. Uh, we've ended up with a fairly. Um, We've got a fairly boring car. Uh, I've got a boring car that I can't actually change in. What the hell? What has happened here? It has no... What? What the... What the... I swear I moved it forward. It has an engine. What's wrong with it? I swear it moved forward initially, and then I went in here, and it's broken, and it's not worked. Something's broken. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to re-roll it. Something's gone weird with that car that shouldn't have done. Ah, uh, so much for the nice, sensible sunburst. Well, okay, it's still a fairly nice, sensible sunburst. It is an police car. Can you... Okay, well, at least it has an engine. What is going on with this vehicle? Have I broken something? Have I done something stupid? I might have to give up on the sunburst, because that's... That's just... What? Hold on. Hold on a minute. What is going on here? Uh, I'm just going to spawn in it. I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to spawn this in to see if I've broken something somewhere. Does this thing have all the parts? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this has all the parts. Let's just scramble everything. Oh, I don't think I have steering on that. <laughs> I just saw the way the front wheels moved. Uh... Okay, well, this has now at least got parts. It just doesn't have a steering rack. Uh, which is a problem. Well, it says it has drift steering, but it clearly doesn't. Because I'm wiggling the analog stick, and, well, that's... Yeah, okay. We've got the broke... We've got the we've got even more broken cars. It's not even funny broken cars at the moment. Um, they were just broken, broken cars. You're going to be a busted one, aren't you, I bet? Okay, right. I'm giving up. I'm giving up on the sunburst because it's it's just not working at the moment. Uh, right. What have I done to this screen? I've pressed a button somewhere and I've broken things, I fear. Something's happened and it's gone a bit weird. 
Oh no, water pressed. Uh, things, not nothing good is happening currently. Right, I'm just gonna load everyone else's vehicles in for a second. <laughs> I don't know what I've done. How have we broken beam this incredibly well? Okay. I mean, it's it's gonna take a while to load. That's to be expected. Uh, it, it is generally a fairly sort of big load when you do this to get everybody's vehicles sorted. All the game's going to just give up the will to live. Which is possible. And now it's crashing. Oh, well OBS is showing different things to what I'm seeing. I am inside an SBR4 with a fridge on the roof. Okay. Our car definitely works. Uh, scramble everything. What are you going to become? 200 BX. Okay. Okay, that's more like it. I think we might be getting somewhere now. Uh, we do not want the nitro system. That can be got rid of. That might actually put my power to about right. Possibly. Uh, 0.212. That's pretty damn close. So we can potentially go and... Ah, oh, we've got a boost. Variable boost. Oh, okay, it's all the way to the bottom. Never mind. Uh, I don't really want the gearbox. The four-speed drag gearbox is probably not going to be good in a car with no power. However, I'm not allowed to change it unless the car is completely undrivable. So, yeah, we may be stuck with that. Please be 0 0.2... Annoying thing. Uh, <laughs> you've now gone up. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, this is one of the one of the really annoying downsides to doing this system. Uh, maybe stage one performance block can get us to zero point two. It's, it's more difficult when we're not really allowed to change certainly visual parts. Uh, can I? I can add fuel to add some weight. Uh, are you going to get it close enough? If it, as long as it's close enough, I will accept it. 0 0.207. It's going to have to do um, in this. Right, so we're going to sync our car with everybody. Uh, oh, and because we're power glow, actually, we can make this look really cool. Uh, if we go, like, orange and then black, you get, like, a Borderlands-style fail racing paint on your car. Uh... <laughs> Which is very nice. Okay. We are fairly good to go. Let's load up some other vehicles. So, by the looks of it, Rusky is carrying and fridge. Brazen is carrying and box. Danger Man has a fridge. Impega has a ramp. Oh dear. Keep an eye out for Impega and the vicious ramp. Uh... I I mean, I have Julie's at the rear, I think. Oh, camera. Do we have Julie's or is it just... No, no, it's just like big off-road suspension. Uh, oh. Okay, my car does at least move. That is a good sign. Just making sure that it does work properly. Uh, oh, of course, don't do two gears because it's an auto. Yeah, I mean, it's not terrible handling. Which is good. Speed Beasts is insane. <laughs> Mine, you're definitely going to have to try and rev it to keep the power up. Rusky's is also, looks like it's missing a chunk. So, and a brief overview of the vehicles. Impega has the ramp on the bolide. Gliska has a stripped out K-series. Shadow has... A slightly more sensible 200BX. Danger Man has sirens in a fridge in an SBR4. Oh, good God. Brazen is going to annoy people with the wide body kit and then tiny wheels that are definitely not offset. But the front wheels are massively offset and have a lot of positive camber. 
Well, that's always fun. Brazen's car is going to handle terribly. Uh, <laughs> but there we go. That's that can only go only go well. Speed Beast's car is it's barely a car. Right there, it is all sorts of completely broken. Uh, right, let's do some adjustments and we will see what happens. Uh, I don't know if I don't know if anyone is actually able to hear, so I will tell them all that it is three laps around here. And then we will see what is going to happen. It is the full Hockenheim circuit for us. I, I don't know what on earth to expect, essentially. Uh, oh, wait, I can't. I forgot to get myself back to... Uh, oops. Get ourselves back to our camera. There we go. Yeah, no idea what to expect. I think my gearbox is going to be terrible, and that might let us down. But... Let's find out. We will rev our car to try and get it ready. And then accelerate away. 200BX. Go. Use the... Well, what power you have. Go, go, go. Uh, we're going to go to the inside of Shadow. Brazen's had an accident immediately. Fridge Cop is having a big wiggle. Fridge Cop has been bumped and has ended up in front of me. It's fine. We've lost some momentum. Uh, now we have Box Cop is into fourth. Carefully does it around the next corner. No, never mind. All of our power just got dumped out and it spun us. And the 200BXs are having a bad time. Uh, we are to the back of the pack. Yeah, so all of the power just got dumped. Whoa, why have you done that car? These are very inconsistent cars. Why did that just spit? I mean, it's probably some suspension setup, to be fair. Uh, has had issues. I think Danger Man may have been reset. Uh, like, force reset from that. I don't know. Uh, we braked way too early. Although, I didn't know where to brake, so it's probably safer to do that. All things considered. Right. Oh. Come on. We cannot be... Oh, no. Danger Man didn't reset. No, wait. There's two Danger Mans. Okay, obviously there is a, like, dead car somewhere. Uh, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Not a problem. My braking is at least fairly normal. I'll, I'm happy with that. Uh, I'm, I'm disliking... I've gone from rolly cars to spinny cars. That seems to be the... Uh, it just seems to be the way of this evening. I, I have one of the two. I, honestly, I think I prefer rolly cars, certainly to these kind of savage spinny cars that I have been dealing with. Uh, right. Nicely does it through here. Danger Man's had a little spot of bother. I mean, it is cool having this, like, Hockenheim layout uh, to go racing around. Oh, Danger Man's car does not look easy to drive anymore. I don't know what's happened with it, but it's had a bad time. Okay. There is Impega, Brazen, Gliska, Speed Beast a long way out in front. There is us desperately trying to chase down Shadow with the world. I mean, the gearbox is not designed for what we're asking it to do. Oh, there's a bit of uh, the Danger Man car. Let's just try and not spin this time on power delivery. God, still didn't really like that corner. It still kind of chirps and bounces around. We're not... We're not fast enough to catch Shadow down the straights. We can't do like a big charge down here. We are maybe catching Speed Beast a little bit at the moment with that scintilla. Where do I break? 200 meters? Does that seem about right? Oh, you can maybe even break a little bit after the 200 meter board, you know. No, oh, no. It just snaps and goes. That's so... <laughs> so frustrating. I don't know why it does that. It's just... You're driving along. Everything's fine. That one there, it was actually later in the acceleration zone than I was expecting as well. It just completely let go. I've also... I'm not paying attention. I've just noticed my brake lights. That's going to annoy some people. I wish I hadn't noticed it, because now it annoys me. <laughs> We've got two... 
vastly different types of brake lights going on at the back. Not even quite sure what the Circle 1 is from, to be honest. Um, no, there we go. I mean, the rears are probably a crappy compound, which is fine. It's the inconsistency of them. Like, if it a crappy compound, it would just be oversteery all the time. It's not, though. It's the way that it... The way that it suddenly appears. It's the way the, the oversteer happens. I mean, it's not got a big enough turbo, I wouldn't have thought, to be that. Because it's, it's building full boost here. So unless maybe the gearbox isn't helping... Is a distinct possibility. Oy. Yeah, it is a distinct possibility that maybe the gearbox is a little bit difficult. Somewhere in there. Quite how that would work, I don't know. Because, yeah, here, like, I can be on the throttle. Oh, it's gone up a gear. Really early there. What are you doing, gearbox? Now it doesn't know what it wants to do. <laughs> Many. Um, Many gears were, were, were attempted there. <laughs> I don't think it knew what gear it wanted to be in, but never mind. I mean, we are well clear of any of cars behind. Danger Man was the closest. But, well, you see, that oversteer was a bit more manageable because I was expecting it. Uh, we got a little bit of a snake going on. I'm thinking Pega's going to win this one. I mean, we can just, we're so far back, I'm just going to cheat at this point, because uh, screw it, really, we're going to come, like, fifth, so, <laughs> uh, we're just going to make up our own circuit at this point, the less I have to drive this car, the better, really, we've taken the Lado line, essentially, uh, what a terrible car, looked cool, thought it was vaguely promising, however, oh, was it Brazen that got victory, I was not able to see the, uh, uh, nameplates very well. Yeah, it looked cool. However, it was an absolute piece of garbage, this car. So, there we go. Hello, free cop. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, we are... It's actually quite strong, this 200BX. Uh... <laughs> Oh dear. It sadly was a very, very disappointing um, a very disappointing race for this. Uh, Gliska's having game problems. Welcome to the fun of PCs doing silly things. Always entertaining. Um, right. Ah, oh, the ramp car did not really do all too much. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that's... Uh, that was quite something. That was quite something indeed. Uh, oh, that's a bit of a disappointment. I was hoping for so much more from the 200BX. Well, that is a Hockenheim race. We are going to head to Tarmac Figure of Eight for our next event over here. Uh, I'm. We're going to go for a little bit more, little bit more open in terms of restrictions. So aside from staying at the 0.2 in terms of power to weight ratio, you are free to use whatever vehicle you like. Now 0.2 is a maximum. You don't have to get to it. Uh, you could try and build a tanky thing. However, yeah, 0.2, otherwise it is free reign for a figure of eight event. What the hell do I want? You see, aroma could be quite good in terms of this, right? The problem you'll get with aroma is you could end up with no body. Like, I'm looking at all of these possible things, and you could get, you know, you could get some heavily armoured, terrifying vehicles, but you could end up with just a chassis and some wheels, in which case a figure of eight race is not going to be good. Um... Could get a truck, it would be allowed. However, it will be slow, so you'll have to rely on doing damage. I and mean, could you go for a hopper? Um, no special parts for it. Again, though, same same fear. Could just end with a frame, which would be bad. 
Uh, I'm half tempted by a Grand Marshal. They're normally quite strong. Difficult to deal with. Uh, you could end up with a mad police spec one, though. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to go for. Oh, do you go Cherrier? And just hope it's a good... You don't get any mad specs with it. Hmm. Let's... I'm going, to, I'm going to go first thought. First thought, best thought, and all that. I'm, I'm going to get something terrible. I can sense it. Please don't remove the body. Please, please, please don't remove the body. Please give me a massive bash bar at the front. Oh, you asshole game. We're at 0 0.8. <laughs> Holy crap. That's so much power. That's insane. So 1,300 horsepower. Well, we are... We've got a grill and we have got a bash bar. We have Julie's at the front as well. Choices were apparently made. Um, in our Roma. We sadly have to take out most of the power. In this... Uh, sorry. Sorry, vehicle. Um, how have you got that much power... Stage 3. Uh, okay, we'll just go Ultra Heavy Duty. It does have NOS, let's not forget, which we will not have. Uh, I mean, race intake maybe be needed? I don't know. Uh, okay. And get rid of the NOS, and then we probably aren't a million miles away from 0 0.2. Okay, that's... That's that's more, much more manageable. Okay. Stage 2 supercharger, maybe? Uh, that's going to be too much. <laughs> Stage one supercharger. Please be right. Oh, for God's sake! I hate, I hate, I hate this sometimes. Um, we can do five point five liter V eight. Zero point. Oh, for God's sake! Maybe a race ECU, adjustable race ECU. Let's go for that. Not quite enough race. Exhausts. V8 exhaust, we reckon that's better. Nope. Again, this is just a little bit of messing about and seeing what you can get. It looks like 0 0.189 is going to be about as good as I'm going to get here. Uh, oh, well, I guess I could go... If I do that, it's going to be way too much. If I do that and then do a race intake. So someone's just throwing a wheel about. <laughs> Early intake. Oh, that's just garbage. The, <laughs> the differences in powers are crazy. Sport intake. Okay, we got a little closer. May have to do. Uh, screw it. It's fine. It'll work. Um... It will work. Well, okay, it doesn't work. Never mind. It doesn't actually drive. Uh, I should have checked that it moved first. I'm going to guess something with all of its weirdness. With how that's set up. Oh, well, we're going to get a re-roll at least. Because that is not drivable and I could spend a year trying to make that work. It's got worse. You've not given me a drive shaft. What even are you? But yeah, that's not going to work either. Game, can I have a drive shaft, please? Pretty please. Drive shaft. Oh, for God's sake. I mean, I'm very glad you don't work. I've got Julie square wheels on the back. Come on. Just get, I look like a vehicle that actually moves at this point. It apparently does just not want to give us... Like a square wheels at the front. Why does the Roman not drive? Come on, Roma. Give us a vehicle that moves. Okay. Good news! I have wonderful news. I have a Roma that actually moves. Holy crap. Right. Progress has been completed in this. Nitro's going out. This is the most underpowered thing. It's very heavy. and I'm not, I mean, I know it's a Roma, but it's very heavy. Um, it is an absolutely awful engine. So let's go back. 
to the 4.5. Uh, oh, I, don't, I really don't want that. Race exhaust manifold. I don't know why I'm actually bothering with that. I think we've got to go for... Uh, we're probably going to want stage one performance and then a supercharger. Probably going to be the way to go. Uh, bear with while we... Okay, we actually need quite a lot of power, so I'm going to jump straight up to stage two. Because we need 0 0.2. We're at 0 0.18 at the moment. Can we... Uh, that's going to just jump it up way too much. We are playing that silly game of... Mess around. 2.65. I hate you, game. <laughs> just... Just let me get... The... Power figures that we need. Uh, manifold tier. I mean, I might have to just settle for like a 0 0.18, 0 point something or other. Uh, if it's going to be silly. 0 0.92. Maybe even a sport ECU will do the trick. 0 0.196. I'm actually happy with that. As long as... So the gearbox will only get changed if it makes the car undrivable. Are you undrivable? No, you're pretty reasonable. I think. Uh... I think I'm front wheel drive, you know. Yeah, I have no rear... Oh, for God's sake. What is it with this game? And it's just not spawning in crucial parts. Now, apparently, it does have... <laughs> this... oh, let's just try something. I don't know whether this is actually going to work. I don't know whether this is what's breaking it. It should have. No, we're just a front-wheel drive Roma at this point. And obviously, oh, it's an exhaust that's hanging off. Maybe it has all the... Can I? See, does this... Yeah, so we are front-wheel drive. There's something broken in that gearbox that's not... So it should be all-wheel drive, but it isn't. Uh, oh. Why are you not working like you should? just got to try and get it to actually have the gearbox it's supposed to have. Because um, it's clearly, it's not supposed to be front wheel drive. It is, oh, there's something really funky about it. Um, yeah, it, seeing as it's clearly given me options for, uh, oh, for God's sake, I can't bloody, uh, what did I have? Four wheel drive race transfer case. If this gets it back to actually being usable, then we will just drive it as it is. Um, I don't think I have... I haven't got a transfer box as far as I can see. I am just going to be stuck with, an, with a front-wheel drive Roma. Screw it. We've got to this point. <laughs> We've got to this point where we will just run what we've got um because stuff it i'll be here all day we might we might still be here all day uh with this one oh for god's sake why does i can't youtube why have you put youtube has put a stupid button next to where i'm trying to remove a darting bot i physically can't click oh there we go someone has uh uh, oh, the game's freezing and crash. Someone chatted so I could actually click the right button to remove said darting bot. Uh, <laughs> pretty sure this did have a rear diff. I thought I looked. I can't do anything. The game's taking forever to load. Uh, here we go. I'll have a look if it's got a rear. If I can put a rear diff in it to actually make this apparently work. Oh, come on, game. Oh dear. Oh, oh. I think in all its lagginess, I think I might I must have clicked quit. Or it's just crashed. 
Oh, it's still crashing. Ah. Uh. Say well, and the Roma's going to uh, never be seen again. Oh, my game is running absolutely terribly at the moment. Uh, it's not going to plan tonight. <sighs> Come on, game. This is when it starts doing its failed to uh, connect. No, it does seem to be working at least. Um, Come on. Come on. Bloody hell. Well, I don't, I'm not going to pick a Roma again, I'm going to tell you that much. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, that was... Just did not want to let me select the right vehicle around all of that. Um, uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. So I believe that the chat will agree with me. Uh, in that if this, this map has the long jump event on it, you must do so with randomised versions of uh, a selection of vehicles. Uh, I'm not going to do a long jump tonight. This is already being difficult enough to set up. It's not really going how I wanted it to, to be honest with you. And this is being difficult enough to set it up for straightforward stuff. The last thing I need to do is start throwing more weirdness in. Um, but we can do a potential... We, we can do a randomised version of the Chariots. That sounds like an interesting race, though, for sure. Um, also, the time for the Cult of 1P, which I believe is back. It is. Cult of 1P is there. I'm still in the loading screen. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> just bear with. Uh, psst, crashing again. Beam, please. Come on, Beam. I should point out that what we are asking to do, what we are asking Beam to do here, is crazy. Um, we are asking Beam to do multiplayer that it's not designed for. We're asking Beam to load in vehicles that are not really supposed to exist. Uh, we, and we've got nine of us, or eight of us now, I think. Um, yeah, it's. It's it's a problem. It's a problem. Again, randomized bulldog sounds fun. We are having so many issues with the game at the moment. I am not asking it to do that. It's barely running properly as it is. Adding cannons and crap into it is just going to cause more issues. The cannons will cause issues at the start and lag. And oh come on, game. <laughs> you, know, you can't see this because I haven't. Oh, it's crashed again. Or, or frozen again. Beam. Please behave. Right. Here we go. We are back. I'm desperately just trying to get here at the moment. Um, right. We are going to spawn in. Um, we like There may be a randomised bulldog, but it will more likely be in, in a video form when we have a bit... Where, where we can deal with any breakages essentially uh, in, a, in a much better manner I'm going to spawn in a D series because hopefully what could go wrong with this it's a long similar it's a similar idea I'm just hoping this might actually work and drive uh, Tombi thank you very much for the donation uh, saying the cult is appeased uh, by this chaos it has been chaos it has been absolute bloody chaos so far this evening. What more can... No, don't say it. What more can go wrong? Well, this thing is cool. Does it actually drive? No. <laughs> Why do none of these trucks work? It's just... None of them move. I just want a truck that drives. I guess because there's so many options for gearboxes and... Diffs and... Oh, this is awesome! Please, just give me some drive. Why do you not give me any drive? I'm using gravity at the moment. I don't even know what Danger Man's is. Ah, oh, right. We're going to try again. I just want a car that actually bloody functions. Well, you're not going to... Uh, it spawned me without rear wheels. Ah. Oh. Right. At this point, I am going to give up. With, with what was the plan, and I'm going to go for a Legron. 
<laughs> oh, just the, one of these shall work. There's some options for funny parts. Oh, this has been terrible. Uh, Chris, thank you for the donation. Saying 85% of all Toyotas made in the past 60 years are still on the road and running today. Well, that is quite interesting. <laughs> I feel like that. I feel like I don't believe that fact, but it is quite cool if it is true. This doesn't even drive either. Oh, for God's sake, game. Well, it does kind of drive, but definitely not properly. What is going on? What on earth is... Okay, well, you move. But you don't have steering. Well, that's a good start. It's got worse. Um, this has got worse for spawning in working vehicles than I've ever come across before. Uh, when we filmed all of this... What the bloody hell is going on? with these vehicles. Uh, it feels like this is just... Race all-wheel drive transfer case. I don't think so. Okay, I think I know what's going on with this one. I think this car wants to be front-wheel drive. And... The transfer case was not... Okay, okay, good news! I've made it work! Right, happy days. We are almost there with a vehicle that will actually be usable. We're a little bit too powerful, but we can deal with that. So yeah, the game wanted to make this car all-wheel drive, but uh, it used the wrong transfer case, so we fudged it. We've got drag tyres on the front, I think. Or slicks on the front. That's good, though, because it's front-wheel drive. So I'll take slicks on the front. Um, as a... This should actually now work. We're almost there, folks. I apologise for the delay here. We've got a bash bar of some description. Which is good. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to click on that. Oh. I think I just broke it. Uh... What bit will the engine be under game? <laughs> right. Uh, okay, let's put 2.5 in again. I love how it still said it had power. Don't quite know how. Beam is, is, is unhappy with us, I think, today. <laughs> I, I get the distinct feeling. Beam is, is not enjoying us. Like, I'm trying to do stuff. And it's just, nothing is just responding as it should. Uh, oh, this engine's garbage. Fine, bigger engine, because it's got no real performance upgrades. Four-speed automatic gearbox, crap. But I can't do much about it. Uh, oh, geez, do you not have? Do you really not have any like performance upgrades at all? I don't know if the heavy-duty one's going to be better or not. Uh, honestly, I feel like these engines are a pile of crap. The 2.2 felt like it had way more power. Like, I did have a nitro, but do you actually have upgradable bits? The only thing I could put on that is a supercharger. Okay, we can put that in. Oh, game, come on. You are just running like absolute arse today. No, okay, so none of these engines are any good. Come on, do something! <sighs> I didn't even click on that. You've just scrolled up randomly. Shove a supercharger on it. If this ends up just vaguely close, I don't care. I just need it to actually work. Just be vaguely usable. That's not even vaguely close, right? I'm just shoving the biggest engine in this pile of junk. Come on. <laughs> Okay. I'm probably going to have to do this, because if I don't do this, I think the engine's going to blow up. Um, I don't know what's going on with the other cars here. I can't really see them yet. We will have a look, I am sure, once we get started. 
Uh, I'm just putting the biggest supercharger or the biggest engine I can, because apparently getting this at 0 0.2 is difficult. I don't quite know why. I don't, think, I don't feel like it should be that difficult. Zero, that's perfect. That's what we like to see. Uh, please, for the love of God, still drive. Uh, okay, it does. Fantastic. This has been unnecessarily complicated. We are going to sink. We are ready. Well, I hope it worked. I can't really tell. Uh, okay. And then we've got to load in some changes. Ugh. This has been an unnecessarily complicated mess. Quite frankly. Okay, if you crash now. Right. Bloody hell. Uh, okay. I was just... i got to tell people because I don't know if anyone's actually bloody listening. Um, Alright, ten lap race around here. With whatever the hell we've got. I don't know what Ruskies is. I don't really... Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's, let's get the cars out. So we're still front-wheel drive. But we have got slicks. I have slicks and no brakes at all. Uh, Danger Man's is awesome. I do like Danger Man's. Impegas is kind of cool as well. Brazen has a sofa. Shadow has a mattress. Speed Beast has a sofa. I feel like we are... My brakes are made of cheese again. I feel like we are ready to go. Uh, Danger Man's load choice is hilarious. Um, all right. Here we go. Let's see what is going to work here. And we are off and underway. There is roars of some various cars. I'm not quite sure what. I've got so much turning with this. It's, it turns in a lot. And then, of course, it's got no rear end grip. This I can deal with because this is progressive. Well, not progressive, but this is predictable. It's a predictable amount of oversteer from this car. And on front wheel drive, I can just boot it and kind of save it. We kind of screw over Shadow. But that's fine. Uh, my issue is how do you pass Danger Man? I also can't hear my own car. Can't hear myself think over the noise of someone's engine. Uh, Impego with a load of understeer. Uh, oh! I, there was a gap there that was not very big. And I do fear I may have pissed off one of the heaviest cars and one of the scariest vehicles in this race. Probably unwise, but never mind. Uh... Alright, uh, Speed Beast's vehicle that is annoyingly loud. Oh, yeah, my brakes are useless on this. I would honestly have more luck. Uh... Okay, well, that was quite funny. That, that has made things slightly better. I have more luck just locking it up, chucking it sideways and turning it than anything else. Oh, we've eaten a sofa and now we're stuck on that. Oh, for God's sake. Oh... Well, now I'm stuck on Impega. Apparently, we're going this way. Well, I have no control over my vehicle anymore. There we go. It has now fixed itself. Do I still have any steering left? Uh, yes. Yes, we do, actually. That's good, yeah. The sofa seat kind of killed us. Uh, we are... Shadow's car looks too clean. We've made sure it's not clean anymore. <laughs> My engine's damaged. Uh, I'm now just trying to take cars out because that's how we finish better up the order, I think. Although Impegas is probably not the one to crash into of everything. Uh, Shadow's car is still going. It, it took that hit. Oh, I've lost my steering. Well, most of it. Not that I had much to begin with. Oh, no. Uh, it's kind of coming back. Yeah, we really have to lean into the just handbrake it and boot it approach, I think. Because it's all gone a little bit... A little bit weird. We can turn right. I just can't turn left. Brazen's car is heavily damaged at this point. Um, go on, Brazen. Oh, I was trying to push Brazen into shadow. <laughs> that was mean. Unnecessary? A little bit. However, uh, screw it at this point. Oh, dear. Someone's bodywork has chewed up in our car. Oh, and I've lost, I will have lost now all of my steering. Um, hoping, oh, hoping I could fix my steering a little bit there. 
but, uh, well, apparently we're dragging bits of Speed Beast with us. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, oh. No, I mean, it's not really made us worse. It's definitely not made us better. Uh, Rusky's car is very poorly. We still somehow have some steering. We've lost a rear wheel, have we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like anything we can do is going to make Brazen's car worse at this point. Oh, and Pega's car's very poorly now. Gliska's in far too good health. Come here, Gliska. <laughs> oh, I can't, can't reach. We've got no steering left. Any well, we have got some steering left. Uh, just very... It's got better than it was. Somehow the front left still got drive, and I'm not 100% sure how that's got drive over there. Rusky's is, is very broken. Speed Beast is very broken. Danger Man's is very broken. Brazen is spinning around. Um, the fact that we're missing a wheel honestly has very little impact on the way our vehicle drives at this point in time. Uh, Alright, out of the way. <laughs> what the hell is happening here? We are like weirdly connected to Speed Beast. I'm still connected to Speed Beast, technically speaking. And I don't quite know how we managed that one. That was quite impressive. We managed to drag that car so far. <laughs> oh, 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 there's a thing that I don't want to hit into. Brazen is still pirouetting around. I think this is for position. Honestly, I don't know. I think we're a few laps down. Um, so, yeah. Oh. I, I, oh, I'm stuck on stuff. Um, I apparently don't need to drive anymore. Brazen is just going to cart us around. Oh, no. Well, now we do need to drive. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm taking a shortcut. <laughs> just... Lord, any sense of seriousness is long gone out of this one. <laughs> I don't know how many laps of that one. There wasn't really a lap. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think Brazen is probably third. I think we're probably fourth, as we are just about um, circulating. <laughs> Brazen, I like the optimism. <laughs> I, I don't think we were. We, I, I caused unnecessary carnage. By the looks of it and sounds of it, Impega caused more unnecessary carnage right there. Um, in Pega's wagon with a plow on the front of it oof, was quite damaging. My car very strong, actually. I will give it that. My Legron was, uh, was very strong uh, through all of this, which is quite impressive. Now it's lost steering. Yeah, Shadow gets victory. Gliska was second. We tried to get in... We tried to cause some mayhem, and it kind of worked. Kind of. Kind of being the optimum word there. Bloody hell. Uh, that was a thing. I guess Gliska may have got murdered by an Impega at some point in all of that, which is unfortunate. Um, ah, <laughs> Impega did decree that Gliska wouldn't get a... Wouldn't get a victory. Oh, dear. Um, well, there's always time. Well, there's, there's always another race, and there is one coming up right now. Uh, we are going to head. In fact, we're just going to head over the way. We are going to head here. So, for this race, we are all going to use the Chariot. Everybody in a Chariot, 0.2 again in terms of the power-to-weight ratio. Um, uh, I don't think Brazen has been using a wheel this time. I don't think Brazen's that mad. Knowing what we were going to be doing with the vehicles, I don't think Brazen is that insane. I can't guarantee it, but uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe Brazen is that insane? However, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, so, Cherriers it is. Now, there's no Mad Max parts for this car, I don't believe. So, yeah, we're unlikely to get really sick. Well, I mean, we might get quite silly. Uh, but we might not get too insane. That's actually... I'm pretty happy with that. 
that's pretty good. I'll take it. We've got off-road suspension. We've got decent tyres. We have NOS, which we will remove. And then we can probably add in some more power to get that up to the zero uh, to zero point two. Okay. Very, very good starting point. After some of the crap that we have had. We're a diesel! Brazen would be happy. Uh, oh no. Don't tell me the diesel can't get any power. I was gonna, I will keep it a diesel if I at all can. But this does rely on us getting something akin to power. Uh, which it doesn't look like we can get. Uh, unless I can whack up the turbo. Which I cannot. No diesel for this. Uh, now, if you've got like a completely stripped out Charia, maybe you could get away with a diesel. Uh, I am not going for that. Uh, two and a half litre I-5. That might be a little bit too much power, actually, on its own. But we will give it a try. Oh, yes. Although I guess we could... Let me just drop it down to a race easy. I know what to change the fuel tank. Don't worry. I have remembered. Uh, no, that's that's way too high. Okay, the i5 is way too good. Uh, so let's do that. Two liter i4. Okay. So pretty close in terms of the power. Fuel tank. Gasoline. Fuel tank. And then we are in 0 0.207. I don't think I can actually do anything with the engine. I mean, it's close enough that that would be allowed. Uh, engine management. Don't know what that is. Yeah, okay, that's, that's close enough. We will... That will do. Oh, we could put more fuel in it, of course. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting I can put fuel in the damn car if if it was... Oh, it's quite low on fuel. Yeah, that'll probably do the trick, actually. Uh, is that going to be enough? Come on. Okay, max out the fuel. And that'll be fine. I feel like we've got a pretty good shout in terms of our car here. Uh, 0 0.204, that's good enough. Yeah, we have a good car... We have good tyres. We have good suspension. There is always the chance that we beans it and have a big crash. Always. That is an ever-present danger that we will beans it and have a big crash. I did click the button to do the event queues to see what other people have got here. Uh... <laughs> Because I'm hoping I don't have the big ram plow wagon thing that Impega has. I feel like I feel like that would be a bad time. Come on, game. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, here we go. So there's going to be some silly wheels, almost guaranteed. There'll be mismatched tires. There will be mismatched bodywork. Uh, there will be all sorts of, of potential stuff. There will be potential wacky handle it, like wacky setups. My car looks as far as setups go. Mine looks fairly, fairly good. Oh, it's. I mean, it's got decent grip and it's got suspension that is going to deal with bumps. Oh. So, I'm happy with that, really. Oy. You're not quite going to be flat out everywhere. It's very quiet compared to some of the monsters that we have had in the past. Uh, but we can just chuck it sideways through there. The interior is, I mean, stripped out is the one. I have a passenger seat, but no driver's seat. That Some choices were made, apparently, with the randomizer there. Uh <laughs> Some are bringing furniture with them. Danger Man has a race car with a sofa attached to it. Don't know why my hazards came on. But they have. Uh, 
Uh, Gliska looks like they've got a race car a little bit. Speed Beast isn't updated. Ruskies has... Mm, looks for, again, that's it. these are fairly sensible. These are fairly, and I do mean this loosely, sensible vehicles. Uh, we'll see what's going to happen in a minute when the game will load. It has decided, well, it's been, outside of the fact that the game breaking continuously, has been quite nice with my vehicle choice here. Uh, I really can't grumble about the car. Uh, as I said, it's it's if if we if we have <laughs> if we mess this one up, it's not the car's fault. Uh, that's for sure. So we have got Ruskies looks really weird actually. So it's shadows. Let's just have a, so we're we're ready. So we will have a little bit of a, a drone mode around. Impegas. It's got kind of a wide body on the front. Don't know what tyres that's got at the rear. Um, are they slicks? They are. Okay. Pega's got rally front slicks rear. That's going to be difficult. That's going to want to spin. Danger Man has got some sort of rally tyres at the rear or some treaded tyres. Shadow also has some kind of treaded tyres. Ruskies looks very weird because it's missing the boot. And that is slicks rear and treaded front. Speed Beast, I don't think, has been updated. Gliskus has got the wide body kit and tiny little wheels at the back and slicks at the front. Neither are good options. You don't want mismatched tyres for this one. Uh, Gliska does have a Mighty Wing, which is bonus points, naturally. Uh, Mighty Wings are always good. Let's just wait to see what the other cars will update to. Maybe. Game. Yeah. Well, Gliska was there, but now it's not. Oh, wait, 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 wait they were. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, we are in a bush. We are out of said bush. Okay. So, yeah, we've got my sort of wide track rally stripped out car. Uh, Rusky's got some flappy doors. Brazen's got some positive camber again. Brazen just loves the positive camber. <laughs> Some of the rear wheels. Oh, I've got Donk. So Brayson's got tiny rear wheels and huge front wheels. At least it's treaded tyres all around for Brazen. Glisk is going to understeer like crazy. Uh, Rusky's already broken the rear suspension. That's not looking too good. Uh, Shadow is perhaps be okay. I think Pega's going to oversteer like crazy in all of this. Uh, we are getting everybody on the grid. And hopefully, we are going to be ready. Chat, place your bets. What way do you reckon this one is going to go? I am not sure myself. I, I am really not sure here. Uh, oh. Game? Are we happy enough? Maybe? Oh. And, okay, Speed Beast has got, like, a stripped-out, weird, like, race car -y thing. Okay, we're going to go five laps around here because it is a shorter circuit, relatively fast track as well, uh, here. Uh, right, okay, so we will have uh, five laps for everyone, and we will begin... A countdown. Uh, a massive crash is probably about accurate here with uh, how things have gone so far today. Uh, right. We will launch ourselves off the line. It's a good start for our green machine. I don't, can't think of a better way to call it. Oh, well, no, we're not winning now, are we? <laughs> we might still dig ourselves out of this. Uh, oh, never mind. Great. Awesome. Absolutely astonishing, this one. I mean, we are now a three-wheel. At least it's a rear wheel. I will take that. Um, a rear wheel is better to lose than a front wheel in this instance. Uh, the rear wheel is... I mean, it does help drive the car, but it's not as critical as some of the other stuff on the vehicle. Uh, we will... Oh, I was going to try and go underneath because I didn't know where Rusky was going to come up. But uh, we don't have the power. Oh, we're overheating terribly. Oh, great. So we've obviously got a crappy radiator or something in this car. 
You know, it's not even got broken, so we've got a crappy basic radiator that is not enough to deal with the performance of the engine. Probably not helped by us having to overwork the car like crazy, because it's missing a wheel now. Um, but yeah, I think it's just going to go pop, unfortunately. Oh, come on, three-wheeled monster. You can do this. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm. I... I'm struggling on power. It's difficult to tell how much is the engine dying and how much is from the fact that I'm missing a rear. Oh, the head gasket's gone. I don't think you're going to do what the blue buck managed. In some ways, I'm kind of grateful that we aren't up at the front because it'd be way more annoying to have my engine expire at the front of the race than have the engine expire further back. I mean, I can try and save the engine. But... Even if we well, if we save the engine, we'll do it by just going very slowly. And then we'll be at the back anyway. So it's kind of a... No, never mind. It's gone. Oh, <laughs> this... This session. Oh, if, if I've had... If I've not had bad luck, I've had no luck at all. Pretty much. It's a great race at the front. I wish, uh, I wish we could have been involved in the fun battles. I mean, our stricken car may actually play a part, potentially. It's slightly in the way, although they, everyone is going to know it is there now. Um, I think that was going to overheat regardless. I think with the randomizer was very kind with the vehicle, but it gave us a crappy radiator, uh, which was then problem exacerbated by losing a wheel immediately. Uh... <laughs> It's a great battle at the front. Brazen's having a look to the inside. Will not uh, will not get past at the moment. I think they've got one more time around now for this one. Uh, Impeg is defending through turn one. Brazen on a more sensible line as they power away to the next corner. Uh, uh, there's not a huge amount in the way of overtaking opportunities around this circuit. Oh, Impeg almost got a big twitch through there. Brazen... Not going to be close enough. This hairpin, you can maybe have a dive, although Brazen's gone a bit too deep into that one. There's a couple more corners to go. I mean, they're not flat out in these cars, but they are quick in these ones. Especially if you've got the right tyres. Impega will round the final couple of corners. And I believe that that is victory for Impega. Uh, it is indeed. Impega wins. Brazen is second. Uh, whether our car could have matched the performance, I do not know. It's a huge tussle as well going on for third. Um, we have got Shadow versus Speed Beast versus Gliska. And it looks like it's going to go the way of Shadow in this one. Uh, Gliska has <laughs> sent it to the inside. It's not quite worked. Shadow's going to get on the podium. Speed Beast is going to hold on. Uh, although it doesn't have much steering left anymore to fourth. Then it'll be Gliska. And then it'll be Rusky shedding all sorts of bits of car around there. And there we have it. The Chariots are across the line. Rusky was definitely unhealthy by the end of all this. Uh, a great battle. A great battle. Um, up at the front. Unfortunately, yeah. No, no part of it for us. But there we go. That is... How it goes sometimes. Uh, we are going to head next over to... We'll go to the go-kart track. Why not? Why not head to the... Go-kart track. So, the rules for this next one are going to be... Again, we're going to stick with the whole 0 0.2. That seems to work. And I am going to say... Let's go saloon cars. So, Bastion, I-Series, 800 Series. There is a saloon version. If you get the estate, that's fine. Uh, the Grand Marshal, Le Grand, are all fair game. I, the Sunburst might technically count as a saloon, but I'm not going to allow it in this one. Uh, we allowed it as a sports car, so we're going for a little bit of a different uh, selection, really. I think... I want the Grand Marshal. <laughs> That's what we're going to go for. Uh, now, there is a chance you could end up with a mad police spec, which, while, which would be funny, 
will not be good for this circuit. Uh, it will be terrible for this circuit. I mean, you would just probably destroy everything in the path. Hello, Kitty Cass. How are you? Um, camera, why are you not attached to my car? Oh, there we go. Okay, so I am a Grand Marshal with 700 horsepower and no bodywork. Awesome. Uh, that seems perfectly good. Well, apparently I have the taxi livery. Funnily enough, I, it doesn't it doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> Get rid of nitro. So we're sticking with the whole 0 0.2. Uh, we'll do 6.9 litre. Yeah, okay. So we do not... Um, want that. Uh, hold on. Uh, God. Um, Alright, we'll go back to finish building. 0 0.3. So, the 6.9 is... Maybe that's 6.9 is a bit too good. Let's go 5.5. 5. I mean, I've always, always want a big engine. However... For, oh, wait, really? The 5.5 .5 is just as good. That's... I've, I've actually... No. The problem we've got is it's not that the engine's good, it's that my car is just stupidly light. Because we are just a frame. We're 1,100 kilos, which for a Grand Marshal is insanely light. Uh, <laughs> I'm actually going to struggle. Do I have a high-performance radiator? That's good. I'm actually going to struggle to get this to a correct... I mean, I can add another 25 litres of fuel. It's going to be close. I might have to... It might end up running slightly high in terms of power to weight, but uh, I think considering what I have to work with... Ah, wait. Sport intake. Forgot about I could go down there as well. Oh. Really? So the st uh, I guess if we go... <laughs> that's so frustratingly dumb. So it loses like 100 horsepower on the intake. And now you're 2.14. Uh, let's play... We're playing... We're just playing silly buggers now. With this car. What if... Um... Uh, right. Hold on. I've also got to do that because I don't want burn sides. I don't want blue bucks because we've already run them today. Uh, right. So I've gone stock. I don't have the stock block. I'm, I'm worried the stock block might blow up. But. Uh. It's <laughs> such a dumb way. Such a such a frustratingly dumb thing here. I don't know, we're heavy duty block. So what if we do sport intake and then dump as much fuel out of it? We're going the other way now with this. We might get it closer. 0.91. I mean, we're probably going to handle better than a lot, although I'm going to have huge oversteer issues here. Being a slick tired front, treaded tired at the back kind of a vehicle. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm, okay. 200 horsepower. It's not the worst. Uh... We had a we have a high performance radiator, so that's going to be fine up at the front. Uh, we won't that won't blow. I'm not allowed to change it, even if it wasn't a high performance one. But that is what we do have at least, which is something. Uh, I've tried to dump out as much fuel as I can while still being able to make it to the end. I don't know how I got lighter. I guess the engine, uh, the block is lighter. It's now not actually just loading any of the events, which is less than helpful. 
Yeah, mum. Now it's no, at least now it is trying to load the event. So I guess that is progress. Uh, we have got. <laughs> Shadow has bought a bathtub. Which is quite impressive. Oh god, what tyres do I have at the back of this? Danger Man has a Grand Marshal. Oh god, I have, like, I think I have White Well. I think I'm having a bad day. Because I think we've got essentially. Oh, I've got drift steering. Oh, yeah, this is awful. Well, the, uh, the same thing continues. If I had. If I have any luck, it is only bad luck. We're going to go the other way around this circuit. I've got, like, bias ply tyres on the rear and slicks on the front with drift steering. <laughs> if I can make a lap without spinning this, I'm going to be astonished. What are the tyres? So I'm not allowed to change any of this, of course. Uh, what are you? Oh no! <laughs> okay, they're not by their standard thin white wall rear tyres, <laughs> and I have race slicks on the front. It's the worst combination in the world. It's so bad. It's so bad. It's like trying to make a remote control car into a drift car by taping the rear wheel, like putting black tape around the rear wheels. It's basically what I've done here. Uh, well, the randomizer... The randomizer is sometimes very mean. And... The randomizer is a hundred percent living up to its uh, to the expectations. Um, yeah, Danger Man is along similar lines. Oh yeah, Danger Man has got huge slicks. At, well, actually, no, Danger Man's got the very skinny slicks at the front. I can't tell what tires they are. It's too dark at the rear. But yeah, does anybody got the, like, the drag racing tires at the front? And obviously, nothing to go with it at the rear. Shadow doesn't have great tires at the front. But does have good... So Shadow's going to be understeer central. I would much rather that. Honestly, that's so much easier to drive than what me and Danger Man are going to be dealing with here. Uh, my, my car is considerably lighter, which I don't think is helpful here. Um, I think I'd actually want more weight, because more weight is just going to be more difficult to move. Although, more weight is also a bit more difficult to get it back under control. I guess. Um, possibly, possibly would be. I don't know. We'll guess we'll see. Impega. I like Impega's car. That's cool. Uh, oh. Yeah, Impega's vehicle is very cool. I I, I don't know how we're going to drive this around. It's going to be really easily does it here. Because any amount of power is just going to send this spinning. Oh. Nope. Or break the steering as well. <laughs> I am not holding out massive amounts of hope here. Beggar's car is working. Danger Man has low rider suspension as well. I just noticed it's got all of the uh, hydraulics in the boot. All the pumps and the batteries and all of that. Um, Gliska's car looks fairly sensible. As far as I can see. Got a little bit of, kind of off-road bash bars. But decent enough tyres. Uh, going on there. Rusky's i-series. Actually, just looks like an i-series, really. <laughs> Danger Man cannot stop. Well, has made the corner. Uh, so I'm not allowed to change anything with a car. The only thing I can change is the engine to get the power right, and you can kind of add and take away fuel to, to try and get, again, to fix the power. I can't change the setup. So if you get, if you've got terrible cambers and toe angles, you have to live with it. If you've got weird stuff, you've got to live with it. That is the joys of this. It's the joys of this. It's the challenge of this. Is you, you get what you're given, uh, essentially. And the game giveth, and the game taketh away, and the game has been pretty mean so far. <laughs> it's, it's not given us much, and the one time it has given us a good car, it gave us a terrible, terrible radiator. So we overheated very quickly. Um, which is, yeah, always fun. I think we're waiting for 
speed boost. I don't know where. So this is connected. But they're somewhere up there. Hold on. I think almost sorted. Whoop. Game. Uh, I guess they're loading, doing some changes. Uh, right. Minimum. Uh, actually, shoot. Why am I doing? I don't even need to travel around like that, do I? Because I can just do that. We can teleport ourselves back. Uh, yeah, the good old RNG. Sometimes, sometimes it works in your favour. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to start on the back row because I'm going to be here for I think a fair amount of the of the race. Uh, we are going to do uh, four laps around here. Hopefully, speed, that that queue will be for Speed Beast to be done. It's going to take a long time. Uh You've got to love the... Oh, there we go. It's relatively slow updating for him. Okay, Speed Beast has a mattress. He's missing some doors. Looks kind of cool. Looks kind of cool. Uh, Danger Man has just got all the sirens in the world. Uh, all right, here we go. We are going to get the countdown ready. A horrible amount of noise is going on. Right. Drifty oversteer mess is a go. Just doesn't move. It just does not move. I don't know where the other cars are. I think me and Danger Man are going to have a little drift contest at the back of this. We're kind of hoping for others to break down or have issues. Glisk has got a bucket load of understeer. I have none of that. No understeer for me at all. Uh, this is just delicately, delicately does it with the throttle because anything more than the most delicate throttle application. The, uh, the plus point is this quick ratio drift steering does mean that if it starts going sideways, I can counter steer in time and catch it some sometimes. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, Impega's got the world's smallest front wheels, which are funny to see. I don't think they help with understeer, to be fair. Uh, we are not going to find a way past at the moment. Oh, Danger Man. Almost, yeah, Danger Man's also, I think, got the same steering as I do here. Uh, oh, we've climbed over the back of the drag wheels. And it will be to the inside for us. Yeah, it's carefully does it, though. Really carefully does it on the throttle. I mean, my brake should be quite good, I would imagine. Oh. I wanted to try and get up the inside there. Did not work. Oh, please don't punch my fuel tank because I've got not much. I've got not much. It's the battle of the absolutely awful. It's 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 worse than the battle of the bad. These cars are absolutely shocking. Yeah, these quick ratio steerings are saving us a little bit. Oh, I wanted to get to the inside here. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe we can sneak alongside. So, Rusky missed the star. I don't know whether the game was loading for them or something, but, uh, Rusky was, missed the star. I'm sorry, Danger Man. I got an assistance. I got an assistance while going very sideways. No. Uh, no. Didn't need that assistance. And Pegas found a little bit more pace in that. Oh. No. Uh. <laughs> Oh, and we are round. It was going to happen. Oh, Danger Man's gone round in sympathy. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, we might have braked a bit early through there, to be honest. Not actually sure at that point. These ca oh, these are actually capable of braking very late. Uh, I turned in a bit too soon and clonked the edge of the concrete barrier. Uh, uh -oh. no, 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 no. Oh. Come on, find some traction. Well... I mean, we basically just got scooped and dumped in that one. That's, uh, yeah. I mean, I was trying to race cleanly and nicely and everything, and yeah, I don't really appreciate that one, if I'm being perfectly honest. Oh, I think Glisk has broken the steering right there. Um, oh. oh, dear. Pretty much the only contact that was made was when Impega pushed us. Uh, I can't really do much because I'm just a chassis at this point. Like, we've got very little in the way of, uh, 
uh, what's the word for it? Uh, mass. We technically have a bash bar at the front, so that might give us a little bit of protection. So there is that. Um, and we will return the favour a smidge where we can. Sadly, didn't quite spin the car. At least on this hairpin, you can get turned in really tight. Um, there's... I've got to be so gentle with the throttle. It's weird. Like, it, this car isn't too slow. Kind of isn't too slow. But the second you start spin, once the wheels spin up, they just don't stop spinning, if that makes sense. They just, it's just impossible to stop them from spinning once they've started. But if you aren't rotating them, you are vaguely okay. It's a weird thing to drive, this one. Oh, God, a horrible thing to drive as well, because it, it requires such finesse that I just do not possess. I believe we have one more lap to go now. We have pulled clear of the danger man. May have got more damage on that car as the race has gone on. Uh, I mean, I've found a way to drive this. It's just not going to be very quick, essentially. Uh, we will slow down here. Uh, oh, God. And... No, 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 no. Don't even think about it. Uh, and sliding. More sliding. And... Uh, uh, Gliska threw away a second with a crash. That, uh, yeah, it happens. It does happen with these. It's There's like a normal... Like this thing here is horrific and horrible and all manners of terrible to drive. But even good cars, all it takes is the littlest mistake and you are in a wall and you've got broken steering or whatever. Uh, we are rounding what I believe is the final corner. Oh, no. <laughs> we are a little bit stuck. Neither of us have any traction. Uh, so we're just going to... Oh, I think Danger Man actually got it. Uh, <laughs> oh, well. Well done, Danger Man. You did actually get that one in the end because we clonked the wall. Um, that was a truly hateful car. Uh, and there we go. That was... I think that might be one of the worst ones I've had. Um, that may well have been one of the worst cars I have had for this. And that is saying something after the day that... Uh, the day that we have had, but there we go. Uh, yeah, that Grand Marshal can go in the bin. It was a fun idea. It could have been really good. It wasn't, but it could have been really, really good. I feel like it was, It was. yeah, it was one of those, uh, but oh well. Uh, right, where are we going to go to next? Uh, I had an idea. Where is the track? There's the rallycross circuit that's like the real one, and I've completely lost where it is. Ah, this one, here. Okay. So, uh, for the final final race, we're going to head over here. Now, I'm going to do it a little bit different for this. So, your choice of vehicles are going to be one of two. Uh, I'm just having a look, see if there's anything else in here. No, I'm going to it's going to be one of two. You could either use the Bolide or you can use a Scintilla. One of these cars. Now there is going to be no limit on the power to weight ratio. It is up to you. However, you're on a rallycross circuit, so what you pick power-wise is going to be very, very interesting. Um, uh, I can't know how to spell it, so I'm just going to type it in like that. Uh, so yeah, it's it's really... How crazy do you want to go? Part of it will be, uh, have a look at what the game gives you in terms of tyres, and that's probably going to determine a fair bit. Um, I'm going to go Scintilla because I haven't driven one for a little while here. Uh, whoop. Can get some pretty crazy contraptions out of this. Uh, you see, so Rally Tires is great. 
the problem is, if you get rally tires on, if if you get rally tires all round, amazing. But you probably won't. I want rally tires on the back. Oh, and I've not got them. Hmm. <laughs> this is a weird one. Okay, so we have very, very much got slicks on this at the rear. I'm not sure what the front tire is. Uh, that's a curious one. I mean, I like it. It's interesting. Where the hell? I guess in the rear subframe. Okay, so we've got the six liter diesel. Now, I do want to get rid of the nitro. We don't want that. Uh, oh, Joe, thank you very much for the um, for the super chat. So thanks for the hours of entertainment. Uh, surprised to actually catch you live. Ah, welcome. Uh, you have picked an interesting time to turn up. That, <laughs> that is for sure. Um, yeah. Ooh, what is this? How much power does this give us? Uh, I don't know. Can I make a super powerful diesel? I, I suspect the game might explode. Uh, no, that's not giving us very much more power. But yes, thank you very much for the donation. I do hope you are enjoying yourself on this stream. Um, we have... I've had a terrible luck. It's the way it goes. It is the way it goes sometimes with all of this. Um, yeah, <laughs> hopefully it'll get better. Uh, does just no uncles. I think they're supposed to be dogs have no uncles. I do thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, just ham fay the pub am pished. Uh, what do cows have brawls? Because their horns don't wash. Someone is having a fun Friday evening. <laughs> I tried. I tried to read it as best as possible. <laughs> um, didn't go so well, but you know. Thank you very much for the for the donation, Dog Seven Hundred One Course. Um, it is much appreciated. The crazy ramblings. Uh, do I have a, I have a high performance radio? Okay, that I like. That I like. Um, I I don't honestly know whether we can boo that joke or not because I don't know what it was. Uh, <laughs> I think it might, it might be why do cows no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It did sound like Welsh. I believe it is supposed to be English, but it did sound a lot like Welsh uh, in trying to read that one out. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, it's, it's very entertaining. I also love that the only word... Well, there were five words spelt correctly. The pub being, you know, the most significant one spelt correctly, at least, in all of that. Uh, well, there we go. Right. Let's load up some cars. Let's see what others have gone for. I mean, I have the all-wheel drive. I'm actually not too displeased with the scintilla. The, we've got a big, powerful turbo diesel. And I think this is a kind of a good power level to go for. I'm kind of happy with this power level, like the 600 horsepower. It's got a good chunk of power uh, without being all game. Okay, I might have to extend the gears because that's absolutely useless. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the... Uh, I mean, I might as well go 75... Uh, Oh god, I don't know how to sort out the gearbox. Uh, like the only thing I can... Wait, I'm just going to try. Do I want to go that way? I'm hoping I want to go that way. Uh, I might blow the engine up with all the boost, is what I'm thinking I might do there, but that's fine. Uh... <laughs> Okay, my gear, like, the gear ratios on this are insanely terrible. Like, uh, uh, there's... Having a car, I don't think that 
that thing that I was changing. I don't think that does anything useful. I can't seem to adjust any gearbox. So, yeah, like, while we're not really supposed to tune much of the stuff, a 900 horsepower car that maxes out at 80 miles an hour is silly. Yeah, okay. We've got this, this, yeah. <laughs> None of that doesn't really do anything. Uh, I don't, well, no, it's not, it's not really kind of supposed to be doing anything, but... Uh, engine? Is that where you're... Transaxle. Heavy duty, diesel heavy duty. Seven speed. Maybe. Uh... I don't know where the diff is. Rear differential. It's race one, so it should work. Uh, come on, car. Okay, if this doesn't work, we may have to... Oh. <sighs> Why is gearbox not work? For God's sake. This is very frustrating. Why is the gearbox... Why is it just... Why is it going to 80? I don't understand. Why you are not letting me actually... I mean, I'm going to try a race gearbox. This might... I don't know. The gearbox should be fine to deal with this level of power. Um... And if this doesn't work, it's something in the diff, but I don't know what in the diff is doing it. Um, how has that got worse, for Christ's sake? What's wrong with you, car? And how do I... Okay, right. Uh, I feel like we want to go this way a lot. I think this is the right way. To go. Uh, I don't know. It's either this or there's a diff that's busted somewhere in the car. Come on. I really want this until to work because it feels like it would be fun with 900 horsepower diesel. Okay. Do you actually now? I mean, it's kind of better. Oh, I'm just going to bloody re-roll it because I can't be bothered to <laughs> just want a car that actually drives. Um, can I have a car that actually has camera? Okay, we've got an actual working gearbox. All right. The good news, it's it handles horribly. I have no brakes. But the good news is, it does actually at least drive. Right, we are going to... That doesn't... That seems to be giving us issues, so I'm just going to turn it off. Um, slightly bit cheating. However, I've got to the point of... I just want a car that works now. I do not much care. Uh, rear subframe. Okay. Uh, oh no, well, I want to take off the nitro. That is what we were trying to get rid of. Because the nitro is probably giving us a whole heap of that power. It's kind of... Well, actually, it wasn't giving us very much. I mean, this is the wor This is like ten times worse than the car we had before because it's got rally tyres on the front and slick tyres on the rear, so... Oh, what the hell? Hey, Jesus, we've got so much toe angle going on the rear wheels as well. Uh, <laughs> that's alarming. That is alarming. It does look like it's, it's... It looks like one of those cutaway cars that they make. Like, half of it's on show and half of it isn't. That's really cool. Um, it's a really cool-looking vehicle. However... I don't think it's going to be a really cool driving vehicle somehow. We shall see. We will sink it. Um, and see what happens, really. Uh, uh, 
Let's see what everyone else has got. Drake, thank you for the donation. Uh, saying Limerick time. Enjoy. Uh, Brazen did get a police car with random parts. Well, Amy so, uh, soon crashed, which really did smart. Uh, fridge cars are fine when they get off the line, but beware of the random Alex who cheats when he departs. <laughs> I've already cheated a little bit. Um, P.S. 1P shall never leave. Well, for the moment, it is, it is there. Uh, we shall see whether it remains or how long it may remain for up here. Uh, right, okay. This actually isn't as terrible to drive as it could be. Well, no, it is quite bad. It's that the toe angle on the rear wheels is just shocking. Uh, the toe angle is just truly awful. Um, I mean, it could be wor It could handle worse. I've driven worse cars than this. Oh, front end doesn't want to bite. That's to be expected a little bit. Uh, yeah. I mean, Rusky's also got similar problems. That The toe angle is insane on this car, which is kind of funny, but... Oh. Could we... we well, Rusky's car might be worse than ours, which is something. Okay, let's get everybody on the grid. I, like, we're winning this only if there is a tremendous amount of accidents, basically. That's, that's how we win is we win through a tremendous number of crashes. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, there, there we go. Uh, we have to do some level of, of adjusting the vehicle to actually... Uh, well, to be fair, this one here is more just to make the damn thing drive uh, for, for me. Because um, I don't, I don't want to have the Nitro running, and we were allowed to choose how much power we wanted. Um for the for the vehicle so yeah your, your choice on this one is, is how much power do you go for do you go for a lot of power or do you go for uh less power and hopefully more control um oh yeah so the random setup has been particularly cruel to me we will try our best uh with this it's not great Danger Man's Bolide's almost a complete car. Uh, Gliska's... Uh, Gliska's may not be... synced for me, possibly. Who knows? Who knows? We will. Cue some events. It looks like we are good to go. I mean, maybe Gliska is just... Sometimes you can get given just a fairly sensible car. Um, Alright. Here we go. Oh, well, we were about to go. For God's sake... I, like honestly, don't be. There's no real point. I say there's no real point. It's not really that much worth it going on the front line. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, it's still bloody event queues. I swear, I literally just clicked that. Oh, uh, come on, Gabe. We are just going to do a countdown, and if cars, uh, there we go. Right. Uh, here we go. Time Ooh. to begin. I mean, we are quite well off the line, which absolutely astounds me considering the angle of toe that we have at the back of this car. Uh, I think some of them have had a crash on their own. That works out quite well for me. Uh, now, we have a good front end grip on the dirt, which is great. But we don't have much of the uh, front end grip here. It's understeer central. Does anybody have... Well, by the looks of it, everyone is having equally bad times. Danger Man has had a problem at turn one. Don't quite know what's happened to Danger Man through all of that. Understeer for days, sudden snappy oversteer. I can do... Like, at least, again, at least it's predictable. Weirdly, even with a million... Um, whoa. Even with a million amounts of toe going on at the rear, it is more predictable than some of the cars I have driven, which is surprising. It's so much understeer there. Oh, well, oil pan's damaged, but it shouldn't 
cause this grief by the end of the race. Wow, the oil pan got broken on a curb. Someone really needs to do something about sausage curbs on racetracks, it would seem. Uh, oh. If the engine dies from that, I'm going to be very disappointed. I'm going to be very disappointed indeed. Uh, it does seem like Gliska may have broken down. No, no, this had a spin or something. Third gear is going to have to do. Oy. That's fine. We will... Okay, Shadow is the one chasing us down as we... Uh, oh, come on. Make the corner, please. Uh, we are... Well, spinning the wheels and having issues again with the front end. That's fine. Not Well, we'll make the corner eventually. It's just with a bucket load of understeer for us. That's okay. Where is Shadow is the million dollar question. Can't really look through here. Oh... That's fine. Uh, engine starved of oil. Shadow is still there, but... Uh, <laughs> there we go. Ah, does the rear toe help us with the launch? Maybe that's why we were so good off the line. I mean, it makes it horrible to drive, but it might help fire it forward. I guess that could explain some of it. Uh, engine is going to be hurting a little bit. But, uh, yeah... Perhaps having no grip at the front is actually helping us be a little bit more stable. We can run a, w a smidge wide there. That's fine. Oh. Alright. Here we go. Final lap, I believe, on this one. Uh, come on. Vehicle. Oy, across the jump we go. Uh, we are going to clatter a curb on the way through. That's fine. Uh, Gliska it was having a battle with Speed Beast. Uh, it's gone the way of Gliska by the looks of it. Speed Beast has had a spin. Speed Beast's vehicle does not look easy to drive. I'm going to guess maybe a bit too much power. Oh, for God's sake! <sighs> yeah, well, I'd like to move. Well, we've got to take it out by a lap down car. Astonishing. Finally had a car that was doing well. I literally went off the track to avoid a spinning lap down car. And we got pile drive into the wall. <laughs> that, that literally sums up this stream. That literally sums up this stream for me. It has been just... If I've had no luck... Uh, well, yeah. If I didn't have bad luck, I had no luck at all. That is just abysmal. Um, well, there we go. That is the end of what was surprisingly a quite good bowler, uh, bowler scintilla, I'm afraid. That's, I actually really liked this randomised uh, vehicle. Like, as far as the randomised cars go, uh, I really like... I mean, the, the tow angle was weird. I love the look of it, though. It's so cool. Um, uh, looking like a cutaway car. That's really, really cool. It's a really good, really interesting look um, for a vehicle to have randomized out um, with, like, the roll cage and the exoskeleton and all that crap. So I think this might be actually one of my favorite looking cars that uh, that I have ever come across in, in this. So there we go. We at least got a very, very cool looking car uh, from this one. So... That is... that is something. Um, uh, Cowbell, thank you very much for the donation. I say the reason why you didn't have any speed was the stock rear end ratio coupled with that engine that uh, only revved just over 3,000 RPM. It needed either a gearbox with a long overdrive or a different rear end ratio. Uh, ah, the true cult has indeed returned. Um, I don't know if I could have put a different rear end ratio. Um, there might be a way. So, I mean, some of these... Some of what it builds here are... Um, it's just a bit broken, and you can't always fix what it's broken easy. Well, so easily. Um, that is the the way that it the way that it goes. Um, kind of a shame. I, I, as I said, I love how this one has ended up looking. I think it's one of my favourite looking randomised cars that uh, that I have come across. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, so, so the other one. I mean, if this thing here was fast, that other one would probably have been astonishingly quick. To be fair. Because uh, that was that was all-wheel drive and even better kind of set up for this one. Um, but yeah, well, 
there we go. I think on that note, it is going to be the end of this one, as it'll take too long to set up any anything further. Uh, it's been interesting. There's been some fun races. Um, I do think perhaps this setup is better for videos. It's rare, actually, that uh, stuff like this works better for videos than... Um, streams, but I don't think it's why. I think there's too much faffing around in between trying to get the vehicles to kind of vaguely work. Um, may have to have a little bit of um, a tweak with what mods we have on to try and prevent a... F like you, you want a lot of creativity, but you want less broken cars uh, is perhaps something to, to look. It's going to be a, a game of, of messing about uh, with various bits and pieces to um, see what see what works essentially because uh, yeah I think there's a few too many perhaps broken bits on uh, on this one but uh, yeah uh, a big thank you to, to everybody who donated of course it is uh, very much appreciated indeed uh, dogs have no one cause I hope you are okay uh, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you are still still in one piece um, I don't know did I I think I saw them in chat at some point um, but uh, oh yeah that they, they were they were in chat um, yeah, they seem okay. Uh, <laughs> I will be back on Sunday with some more GTA. I don't quite know exactly what we're going to be doing on GTA, but uh, we will be doing something on on GTA. So, yeah, well, potentially on GTA, probably on GTA. Uh, but yeah, that is going to be it from me. Of course, thank you all very much for for watching, for spending your Friday evening, afternoon. Saturday morning uh, with us here. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.